Hello and welcome back to the world. My name is Beast, and today we're back with Koizuru Nuts on the Last Resort. Uh, there's not really much to talk about right now, except for the fact that, uh, Yuta was being a bitch. Didn't take Scott's counterclaim, apparently. Just tossed it out the window, so now Smee, Hooksoft, and Nekunyan are moving against YouTube. That's nice, uh, anyways. Or more than likely, uh, more, uh, more, be or better to say, against that troll. But yeah, and besides from that, no, not many news I've heard. Like, I'm honest to God, re relying a lot on my Discord, the people in there, to inform me of that, since they actually are almost strangely well informed when it comes to this. Other than that, let's just hope things get uh, get better. Anyways, let's just get this going. Uh, here, right? I ended up losing Umi when I went to change my clothes. I only realized that after the fact, though. I once changing into their bathing suits, right? You know, I shouldn't get worked up. The standard uniform looks. Uh, the st standard uniforms look enough like swimsuit uh, suits as it is. So they aren't swimsuits. I'm sure I must be used to them by now. But other than school activities, I've never really been around girls just relaxing in their swimsuits. So it's understandable that I'm a, that I'm a bit nervous. It's all because... Even begin. Well, you know. But it, it does, doesn't it? It definitely fits. I'm having problems finding an appropriate place to look. I've now gained a deeper understanding of the phrase easy on the eyes. No, self-deprecation isn't playing fair, and I have to worry about complimenting you. Hmm. <laughs> I won't get your hopes up. Konami-chan,実は無いだらすごいんだよ。さ、サンゴちゃんってば少しくらい分けてほしいっていつも思ってるもん私。もう恥ずかしいから。I actually think Sango's on to something. Konami is looking pretty good right now. She's on the short side, so it's not always apparent, but th that swimsuit really brings out the best in her. Yeah, I wonder why they decided on those uniforms. Hmm. Ah, it's not exactly what you wear to a swimsuit class at school. Yeah, it's far too showy. Hmm. Oh, sorry, my bad. I was thinking about something. It's not like that. In fact, I've been thinking about how the girls look today, but it wasn't perverted or mean spirited in nature. More importantly, hmm. Kozaki has a nice body after all. Her slender build accentuates her curves. Uh, standing there by herself, she seems taller with long slender legs. Ah! I, I can't help what my eyes look like! Finish complimenting her in silence. How do I do that? Perhaps a more realis realistic suggestion? I know, I know. I'll only look at your face, nothing below the chin. Is that a fair compromise? I'll do my best. 
Well, no, being a guy, I really can't control my subconscious urges. If I wanted to control them, I'd have to be conscious of my every action, which means I'd be doing nothing but pay attention to myself, trying not to pay attention to my to her. Sanagas is here. She's in a bathing suit too. Why does she look like the fucking dead or alive extreme beach volleyball character? <laughs> How could I put this? She's most definitely a grown adult. She's got everything a girl would want. And then so. Of course, from her everyday clothes, I could already tell she has an impeccable sense of style. So seeing her in a swimsuit like this leaves you saying, well, duh! Perhaps I should just enjoy the day here, as we've been invited to do. Oh. Ah! Suddenly, the back of my knee. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Today is not just a day off, it's a trial. Focus. I have to focus. I can't forget to focus. Okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying a vigorous round of beach volleyball. It's fairly clear that everybody is enjoying themselves today. Ryu, are you not good at sports? I mean, I'm pretty concerned about how well she knows the game. I wouldn't put it past her to say something like, I didn't know you could hit the ball twice. No problem, if, if your body's re weak, I'm sure there are other things you can do. I can't bend over and touch my toes, for example. Uh, <laughs> well, you've got to get used to going after the ball. Just keep trying, and even though you might fail, you'll eventually get the hang of it. I think it's a do it was dodgeball that first taught me how to aim. And it was playing outfield that taught me to focus on the ball. It's not nice to pick on her. After all, she's really trying her best. As usual, Kozuki hates to lose, and as usual, she's a quick learner. She's already improv improved since the first game, making more of, of an effort to get to the ball in time. Her, her coordination isn't half bad. She's a fast learner. More importantly, aren't you going to join them? It's not like we need a formal referee. And if we d even if we did, I'd be the one playing that role. It currently is an odd number of players. <laughs> Sango? Konomi? Uh, Konami? Uh, Riho? Kozaki? And... Sotaro? Oh, I see. Looks like what she said is true. That's just enough people. That's just enough people. If she already was weak at sports, then it wouldn't be kind to force her to play. <laughs> or he's not playing. Oh. Loud one has arrived. ボクを混ぜずにビーチバレーをするなんて。ええ、構わないですよ。奥歯ガタガタ言わせてあげますから。しおり 
also really competitive. Oi, mob. Oh, sorry, I was distracted by the bloodlust between you guys. So Me? Are you sure? Seibutsugakujo Put it like that. That's right, I won't be able to teach calls like you, yeah, great demon queen of ridiculous, a lesson or two. Oh, I thought like I had exercise, I think it's fine at small doses. Hmm. <laughs> 10 to 3, I think that's what you'd call a landslide victory. Even though they said it was fine for us to have four people on our side, they didn't stop to consider the abilities of the ridiculous and powerful Demon Queen. I had to say it, but Riho wasn't exactly of much use in this battle. And Chiyori's reactions, though quick, weren't enough to save the day. While well, the enemy is the enemy, to be honest, we had our handicaps as well. Song went the Demon Queen more than made up for Konami's weaknesses, however. But the deciding factor in this lo lopsided victory was the other side's underestimation of a man's capability. For them, it was a dire miscalculation. You seem happy, Umi. I'd originally mistaken Umi's natural capacity for learning as mere athletic ability. To work to art, that's the victory in itself. In any case, everyone seems happy, and that's what matters. If you focus too much on winning or losing, then it stops being fun. Since today's a day off, it's important that we enjoy it to the fullest. What? ばつゲームのだ。師匠。何も言うな、サンゴ。分かってるよ。でももう罰ゲームを受ける覚悟はできているんだ。だから僕に慰めとかは。then it sailed! So, so no, no, you were ready to accept your punishment, remember? Watching your backpedal is pretty funny. Ah, if it's the great demon queen of ridiculousness, then... You don't really have to do it, right? The punishment, that is. Well, we'd only be punishing her for our own amusement. For our own amusement. So we won't force... Yuhi, to go through with it if she doesn't want to. But if I were in her shoes, I'd take the punishment. It's a noble thing to do, after all. If I did that, then everyone else wouldn't have fun and make a lot of wonderful memories. It'd be a punishment for the ages. But of course, I'm only speaking hypothetically if I, if I were... Yoshi, <laughs> Man, that wasn't even a challenge! Okay, now I need a shovel. All I need is a shovel. I mean. The weather's nice today. I kick back to sunbathe and take a break from the earlier commotion. Now that Yuhi's agreed to be buried up to her neck, I consider my work here done. Seems everybody's enthusiastic. If everyone were wearing a bathing suit, now would be a perfect time for them to go into the ocean. They'd run one after the other, splashing water and giggling all the while. From any man's perspective, to experience that first hand would be amazing. But for a guy like me, who seldom talked to women, it would be an unheard of luxury. <laughs> Why, hello there. <laughs> No, nope, but I'm taking a small break to work on my tan. It's more or less true, so there's no need to apologize. It might even be seen as a compliment depending on, you, on how you view it. Oh, this says I'm not. It's not good. It's I wouldn't say that. Until I came here, I was much more of a pessimist. Well, yeah, that's true. But from my perspective, I've changed a lot. But, fuck. Let's see. Before I came here, talking to others was a hassle. 
I always got right to the point. I would... How would, should I say this? My previous worldview didn't consider ta talking with others to be a worthwhile part of my life. So I decided that I wouldn't depend on anybody, so I studied on my own and took on part-time jobs to pay for rent and tuition on my own. When I... When you have friends, they never do make you spend money on unnecessary things. Past a certain point, it's a hassle to say no. Seriously, it's a real pain. So I assumed that once I began working, my financial situation would improve. I wouldn't have to cover school expenses, and any debt would be negligible. きちんと頭にあるのは素晴らしいわ。どうしてかしら。それを吹くと思うの even, even if I thought that, I don't know if those kinds of dreams would bring me happiness. I don't really have a baseline of happiness to compare against, so I'm not sure what I'd consider, consider unhappiness to be either. That's not a trivial question to answer, there's no way I could hope to give an accurate response. Continue saying word after word, but she just nods, listening intently. For some reason, that makes me really happy. I wonder why. Usually I say nothing more than what's required of me. So, That's right, sorry. Because <laughs> Because the one topic, because one topic leads to another, it's easy to wonder at times. The fact that Nagisa recognizes this and has the ability to nudge the conversation back on track demonstrates her skills as a leader. I've learned to pay more attention to people. I've also had more opportunities to observe the observe the actions of others. That's what changed about me since I've come here. それは、あなたの人生に必要じゃない人も気にするようになったという意味であってる。最低限の付き合いしかしない人なんて今の世の中では珍しいわけじゃないわ。ただし、他人に関心を持たない人と他人に関心を持つ余裕がない人には大きな違いがあるの。前者は内的要因が主で、後者は外的要因が主。全てでは
それを承知でお願いしたいの。いい I like how she keeps like saying that you don't have to answer this. This is completely up to you. I, I would, well, I would lo love to know. This is your life. You get to decide if you share this with me or not. It's a very good thing to do. It's a very good thing to do. I feel like I can tell her without worries. Since it's her, I doubt she'd criticize my answer. Well, it's not a big deal. When I, when I was small, still small, my parents got divorced. They both remarried since, and they've each started new families of their own. I was raised by my grandfather. Well, we weren't poor, we weren't exactly well off either. And my mother and father often came to the house to discuss child support payments. Eventually, they stopped holding their tongue at my grandfather's house. They began to bigger and argue in front of me. Having spent so much time listening to them, I eventually grew tired of hearing about child support and the like. So here I am. That's why I decided to live on my own. If possible, I wanted to live as simply as I could. I can't really buy everything I'd like, but I'm much less stressed emotionally. But there are some unexpected downsides of having stable mental health. あなたに仕事が頼めるわ Glad you think so. I've come here to work after all. ええ。だから頑張ってちょうだい。<笑>あなたにはいろいろと頼むかもしれないから。Of course, I wouldn't expect anything less. 話したくないことだったとは思うけど、ねほりはほり聞いてしまって、ごめんなさいね。Please don't make such a big deal of it. I chose to talk to you because I wanted to. Man, did I just sound like Umi or what? I'd be happy to bore you to death again. I should be thanking you for being such a good listener. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Well, if I ever need someone to talk to, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, so, so. Saigon, you're just a question to ask me. What would that be? Atashi no Mizuki. Do you like it? Uh, well, you know, it's beautiful and, uh, yeah. As she questions me, my eyes involuntarily stray to her chest. It's really attractive! <laughs> あなたのその反応で分かったわこの水着を選んで正解だったよね It's embarrassing. さて私は仕事に戻るわあなたもゆっくり休日を楽しんでちょうだい Got it. Oh, oh, right. where, where did you go? One person on the speech she'd most want to see is Nagisa, all right? ああ首まで砂に埋められてたわね身動きが取れないまま<笑> What was that smile just now? そこへ小さなヤドカリが一匹あの子に近づいてきたの And what happened? どんどん近づいていくうちにあの子も気づいて追い払ってくださいって必死にお願いしてくるからあの子がこのままどうなるかを見ていたいなんていたずら心があったのよ正直なところけどそれはさすがにかわいそうだったからすぐに取ってあげたわ Did you know? そうしたらあまりにもお礼を言うものだから私もだんだんと可愛くなってきちゃったのよほらあの子普段は男勝りじゃないけどその時はいじらしさなんか見せちゃってだから目の前でしゃがんで頭を撫でてあげたのご褒美のつもりで She's got a real mean streak and I like itRally did that ええこの格好よいけないかしら It's not that、uh, someone insists on referring to Nagisa as o n e s a m a It was probably a fairly stimulating sight. そうしたらあの子、こんなに、こんなにとか、不思議な高ぶり方をしていたの。Oh, being unused、uh, to such situations, you most likely broke out in the nosebleed. その後すぐに気を失っちゃって、ほんとかわいいんだから。
So, what did you do afterwards? あなたたちが決めたルールなのでしょうなら私が勝手に介入できないわ。だから、私は放置。放置よ、放置。掘り起こすのは、あなたたちがすることね。<笑>それじゃあね、宗太郎くん。Till then. Today I got to see many different sides of Nagisa. Usually your gaze can melt ice. Or is it cut glass? In any case, it's scary! <laughs> Yet earlier, her eyes were like those of a young child, sparking brightly, full of curiosity at the world. But by the, by the end of the conversa our conversation, they'd become a little bit mischievous. Or that's how I read them, anyways. But was I more relieved or excited of as many sides of Nagisa's personality? Excited. There was a, there's a lot of excitement. Really, it's a mystery to me. Why did I end up talking so much? I was able to say what I meant and mean what I said. I, to have discovered a side of me I hadn't known until about until now was, how should I put it, rather surprising or something like that. The reward of having come here. That's to be expected of a resort, right? <laughs> Burgers and salmon. Hamburger and salmon. Kozaki's on the same page as me. That makes me feel a bit better. Oh, salmon. Hisashibri desu wa? Same here, the only noodles I typically eat are udon. Udon te yasui desu ka? Think about what you just said. Think about how that might sound to me. But generally, there's no real difference in price. <laughs> just like, take a second to just carefully think about what the fuck you just said to me. Kijun ga soko da to omottan desu. Gomen nasai. Don't apologize, I'm not mad. You're you after all. Her tiny triumphant pose is rather cute. えっと、サンゴさんはまだ来ないんですかあれ、コナミちゃんと一番早く来たと思いますけど、お昼を持ってどこかへ行ったみたいです。This thing. What's this? Did you take the scenic route to lunch? 意外と合うんですね。この組み合わせ。私もそう思いました。yeah, I've got to agree, the sesame sauce really enhances the noodle soup. The uh, chicken teriyaki burger paired with that salad with the sesame dressing, it's a re revelation. By the way, uh, what's everyone got planned for this afternoon? Sango-san ga, gogo mo sawagi kai te itte mashita. Watashi wa, suru koto ga aru no de. Whoops. Kodomi, how about you? Watashi wa, Sango-chan ni awasemasu. Should we do then? What to do? After listening to what everyone has to say, they all seem to want to do their own thing. But we all meet up again at dinner. Well, it's a day off, so we should do whatever strikes our fancy, I don't care what. Did you have something in mind? リホは気まじめですよね。物覚えが悪いので頑張らないといけませんから。ビギョアオリプリゲララダフェフリオドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドドド
What happened after that? 師匠の要望で、あのままでいいそうです。What? 管理人さんから、その格好が可愛いから、戻ってくるまでそのままでいて、と言われたそうです。So she's staying there until the manager returns? だと思いますよ。I wonder if Nox ever will really come back there on a whim. Well, that's her call. What do you plan on doing it this afternoon, Songo? I'm still playing in the sea. I like to swim. I like to swim. So, I'm going to play with you too, Konami. Yes. Judy has plans if he has decided that Sagwich and Konami plan to continue their adventures at sea. テリアキソースうそやだ見,見ないでくださいあ、海。Something about Kozaki makes me want to play pranks on her. There really wasn't anything on her face, of course. I'll apologize later. Yeah. So, what shall we do? And a little buddy! <laughs> Honestly, God, if I was in my feel a bit exhausted at this point, so I would probably just want to, like, go back to my room and relax a bit. Once you get back to the room, I realize there's nothing that really needs doing. Since I have the day off, should I go for a leisurely walk? Well, this is nice, but I'd like to get outside for a bit. I didn't ask Kozaki what she wants to do. Hey, Kozaki. What's up? Do you have any plans for this afternoon? Or did you decide to take a nap? I'm tired, but I'm tired. 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 I was thinking the same thing, Kozaki. So, what do you want to do with your senpai? I wanted to take a stroll around the island. We might come across some rare plants and animals. I don't have any animals or any animals. You don't have to worry about that. There aren't any venomous snakes on this island. Anyways, let's get rid of them off for you. Then decided. Once you're done changing, we'll head out immediately. Well, we were planning on going in your bathing suit. Did you not notice until just now? Got it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't worry, I'll go outside to take your time changing. Just tell me when you're done. The uniform isn't all that different from the bathing suit. But you might get embarrassed if I say anything, so let's just avoid that topic. Well, let's just be careful when handling her overreactions. Now, where shall we go? As far as I know, we haven't been out past the administration building yet. But there's a small forest of sorts out there, and I'm worried there won't be any road leading through. Any other options? If we head further along the coast, we'll have to deal with rocky terrain. Maybe there's more to see on the other side of the pier where we arrived. We could do that, since, but since Kozaki is coming along, maybe I should choose somewhere else. If she were to slip on the rocks and get badly injured, I'd, it'd be a disaster. So that really only leaves uh, the area past the administration building, right? If I remember correctly, there's a fork in the road there, just before the outdoor hot springs. There's a sign there indicating where the other path goes, but I don't really bother to read it carefully. Perhaps it'd be best to uh, head there. Don't yell senpai so loudly when we're out together. Outside together. It'll give us away. Don't have to apologize. I'm not angry. I'm just anxious. Are you ready? We have to keep up appearances. Otherwise, we won't be able to keep working here. We both have been... We, we've both carelessly already... Been already... We've both been already... Been careless already on numerous occasions. Mostly considering going back. Like, 
Because currently we're heading for her route. But I think I may want to, like, save her route for last. So you know what? Let's go for it. Up the others. Uh, skip. Uh, yes, I'm doing this now. Because I can see something similar to I happening in this game. And I'm not going through that again. So, Kozaki will go last. Let's go, uh... I guess we're going for Shiori. Uh, help Shiori. I never really tried bleaching before, but I'm um, all for learning something new. You never know when it'll come in handy, right? I'll help you out, Shiori. Hmm? What do you mean? I think it's better to take he has a point, since our goal is to maintain our disguise as lovers, this could be a delicate situation. I can't just abandon Kozaki, but... Just, just because she's my girlfriend doesn't mean I have to play favorites. In fact, Umi hates it when I do that. Right? What? Why are you even more nervous now? Mumi's <laughs> not that strict. She doesn't mind stuff like this. We're going to get so embarrassed and don't say anything. It's just over. Sorry, Umi. After this, I'll make it up to you by teaching you how to bleach. Soutaro. Huh? Shiori's <laughs> is cute. I'm probably gonna primor first go for Shiori. Uh, sh uh, Shiori, now I continue bleaching the pails. I'm aware of Kozaki working in the background. Soutaro. I'm Suddenly I realized Shiori had been saying something to me. Uh, wh what is it that you think? What? But あ、ちめん。今回は何も取り戻すことができないから。That's true, but it's also a bit impractical at least in this day and age. I understand what you're trying to say, Shuri. Thanks for your concern. By the way, is that something you've learned from experience, Shuri? Immediately change the subject. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have asked that last question. I mean, God told me I was out of something. What had Shuri been thinking just now? If I could, I'd go back in time and... Keep idly chatting with her just a little longer. Oh, how I regret that missed opportunity. A skip. I to turn this off because I think they're about to catch somebody in the ba in the bath. Oh, it's 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 monster again. Go on. Okay, so. That wasn't that scene. Good to know. Very good to know. Eh, itch. Got an itch. Help. Should be able to go back here. Oh, yes! Well, that was my secret reason for doing this. I was secretly just trying to see that one again. Ask Chiwadi about her plans. I remember what Chiwadi had said. I was just... But it just raises the question. What plans did she have? Hmm. I'm curious, really curious. Why am I so curious? 
It's because her very existence is a mystery. I could have signed as winning out. I can ask her about it. The chore is finished. Everyone's gone back to their rooms, Kozaki included. As a result, Shirody and I are the only two people left in the entire din dining hall. Typically, a detective is accompanied by, dis by his assistant. Is it... Does it mean to think of Kozaki as my Watson? I didn't know that she was a VTuber. Uh. Uh, and how should I make up for her absence? It's times like these where I really get nervous. But something unexpected happened. She would have finally stood up from her seat. <sighs> the curtain's about to rise. The answer to the mystery is about to be revealed. I'm a bundle of nerves. I swallow loudly. Judy buys juice from the vending, mach vending machine, then returns to her seat. She drinks it, relishing each sip. It's a, it's a pink and white cart. It's got to be the run. It's got to be run of the mill strawberry milk. That's what's up. Judy seems to have noticed me staring at her. No, that was my intention. Anyways, it seems it really was strawberry milk. I'm more of a coffee milk guy myself. Yeah. I'm staring at, at you, Shiori. Oh, oh, sorry. Crap. I didn't really mean anything. It's not like I was focused on your lips or anything. I'm just taking my own grave here. Haven't I been getting a bit careless lately? Aren't I beginning to seem a bit like... A little bit like Umi? <sighs> Sorry, I was just interested in what you were doing, honest. Yeah, because you said you had plans for the afternoon. I was wondering what you meant by that. Even though it's just out of curiosity. Would you mind letting me in on the details? <clears throat> Ignore that noise? What's that mean? Kite? No, knife. Yeah. I thought that's what she said. Um. Why is the entirety of that line just gone? For the knife. Does she like sharpening things? Too sharp? That's a little confusing. But you know, doesn't a knife typically get duller as you use it? Yes. The knife she's speaking of gets sharper with each use. That goes against all logic. Now, my dad, why does she have a knife in the first place? Is she the type to sharpen her pencils in that old timey way? Or maybe she indulges in some woodworking in her spare time? That's okay, I'll help. A slight chill went up my spine. I could do a little more than I could do a little more than nod. What is happening? I searched through the assortment of boxes to the side of the administration building. No, but this is amazing. That makes sense. But if you look at the number of places to search, it's really vast. Will there be any markings? A label. It'll be difficult to see with the boxes all piled up like this. Are there any distinguishing factors other than that? The color of the box, maybe? I guess not. Is this really all we have to go on? We can turn to her as a last resort. So, when did the shipment arrive? That helps. 
have some more reason to rival than it's likely to be at the top of the pile. Ah, that's true. Sotaro is fluent, but he's good. I'm not defective. Well, even if I do have my shortcomings, isn't calling me defective a bit much? All right, shall we begin? And with that, I hurry up with the, the step ladder we'd erected. But, oh, huh, what's going on? My, I think my, I think my footing's unstable. Sotaro, so no katatsu wa. Hmm. The. Ah! Crap! At this rate, Judy's. Are you alright, Chiyuri? What a relief. At first glance, she seems uninjured. Oh, fucking course. Oh, hold on. Oh, I got that one. Oh, and fuck it. This isn't my fault. This is the game's fault. So fuck the game! It's that easy! SORRY! Why does this keep happening to me lately? Why are you complaining about it? Panic, they take my hand off her chest. Let me handle this as a man. Yeah, your chest. Uh, uh, anyway, let me make amends. Do you think the situation would have gone better with Yuhi here? Girl, you confuse me. She seems to be back to her old self. Is it really? So it really wasn't that bad. So then I'm glad. I'll take it. Glad she's unshru- she's shrugged the incident off without much off offense. You probably should have come to that conclusion earlier. But I was the one who was so gung-ho about using it, at least neither of us ended up injured. But it was because of me that you decided not to ask Yuhi. Hold on, that. Oh, he also said it. I just wanted her to stay buried in the sand for a little longer, to be honest. Maybe the gods were watching and judging. Yeah. Situ the situation is a bit... Beauty? She's locking eyes at me as if drinking me in. Sotaro... What? Won't do. Sotaro niwa umi ga. Umi and I are... What? I assume you got to do with this. I don't really know. I don't understand why, but I just want to stay like this. At least that's how it feels if I keep gazing at Shiuri. As I keep gazing. Shiuri remains silent, then looks away. It's as if she's giving up. Then the next moment, she looks off to the side, her eyes growing wide. What's up? Her arms grip just one among the many boxes she'd been carrying. So it is the knife. It's a trowel, isn't it? Okay. Trowel. Okay. It's a small hand shovel for gardening. painting oh. knife. What's that? So that so that's why it's a trowel? Painting knife. Oh, so Shiri can make that kind of face as well. <laughs> oh, sorry, I need to tag. I need, I need to post this real quick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. That's, that's gorgeous. That's fucking amazing. Somebody uh, spammed Weebart. Trowel. Hey. Oh, not my sides. Hey. Hey. Wait, don't do that. Really, stop. <laughs> Since I have clothes on, it's not really that painful. Rather, it just sort of tickles. So I end up making funny noises. That's all it's meant for. Stop that. So, this ne. Watashi, hajimete hito sashite shimaimashita. Masaka kono te o enogu igai de yokosu hi ga kuru nante. That was pretty funny, almost like a comedy routine. But it might have fancy description didn't help. That's When you hear the word knife, don't you usually picture a sharp object? Yet you said something about it getting sharper with use. You use, that's a bit confusing, isn't it? Nah. ペインティングナイフは絵を描くための道具だからもともとはそれほどの鋭さを必要としていませんだけどそれを使い込むことで金属が研磨されて少しずつ刃のようにするどくなっていくんですそうなるとカンバスそのものを切り裁いたり使い
You've already proved your proven your metal to me and everyone and all, everyone else. You took this punishment game upon yourself, sparing your team. That's very noble. Noble. Personally, I envy your resolve, the way you take the initiative. So let's call it quits for now, okay? So you could not ask Kataganina. She suddenly starts blushing. What happened? Oh, could it be that you're injured? So that night. She needs to pee, doesn't she? Should I get you some medicine? I think, uh. Uh, I can get you some water to wash it down too. Let's just dig you up for now, okay? So once we're done, I'll take you to the administration building. Oh, should I not? Oops. Fuck. Very sorry about that, Yuhi. Okay, got it. Since she's been out here all day, someone really should give her a hand. I don't really mind being the one, besides, she even asked me herself. Even though there aren't any venom snakes here, you should still be cautious when dealing with nature. For example, there's a hermit crab approaching us dead ahead. Ha <laughs> I'm just going to beat the shit out of you. No, no, the competition's over. Anyways, uh, I can't just leave you alone. The sky's only getting darker and the terms of your punishment didn't take high tide into consideration. If you wait any longer, this whole stretch of sand will be underwater. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Oh, do you have a stomachache? Let me get you out of here. I'd hate for an accident to happen. Even though her body isn't entirely buried, her legs are still pretty deep. Okay, she's finally out. Once I realize that, I start feeling a little better. For what? Yeah, I don't think there's any need to apologize. Whatever you're worried about, I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Well, it's a, that's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm not trying to make excuses, though. Anyways, I just want to get along with everyone here, you know? If I don't, it'd be hard to work. But being me, I'll keep working hard regardless. If I give this my all, I'll make money. And I'll be able to afford my tuition and rent. <laughs> I sound like someone who doesn't have a life, though. I mean, I don't even have time to joke around. I spend my days living from paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> that sounds interesting, doesn't it? If it, that were true, it might actually be sort of fun. I've been so busy struggling to get by, I hadn't done had much time for fun. Perhaps you, they've changed a bit recently. As you can imagine, I enjoy life here. Yeah, I think so. That I'm grateful. Oh, well, the two of us taking a turn for the better. Uh, in a second, I'm gonna fall up, uh, slowly pull you up. Can you get your hands free? Okay, I'll take your right hand and pull you up. Okay then, let's go, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I will trust my gut on this. Perhaps. Let's go! Whoa! <laughs> you did it! Hmm? What's wrong? For some reason she looks odd, is it because she hasn't moved in a while? What? She needs to pee. Do you have an injury somewhere? If so, can you show me where? No, you must be exhausted. Oops, fuck. No, you must be exhausted, but now let me give you a hand. I'll help you, come on. 
No, no, I insist. When a girl's injured like this, it's just not right to abandon her. I'll take you to the medical office in the administration building. But you're shaking like a leak if you're that injured. Oh. <laughs> I'm really sorry. The, the restroom's over there. <laughs> ah. She ran off. So in the end, it was all my fault, yes. If I were a little more attentive, I would have noticed. When it comes right down to it, I can't do things that aren't in my nature. It's not her fault. I offer to help her of my own free will. And so it comes to the end. And so, and so, it comes, and so it comes to this in the end, demoted back to bastard. But son is done, let's head back. Life's tough. Sun, which had shone brightly for the day, off, burns bright red as it sets under the horizon. It's kind of like hearing the ending theme of your favorite anime. You're filled with a sudden sense of loneliness. Having this feeling, despite not having a television here, may just be a sign that today was really fulfilling. Everyone seems, sounds exhausted and proof that they've enjoyed their day off to the fullest. そこから筋肉がついてくんです。さ、それは困ります。うーん。あれ、仮にさんは来客に対応中。先に食べていていいと言われました。Then shall we start eating? そうですね。さおたろうくんが仕切って。あ、め。先導してくださらないと食べ始めることができませんわ。then, um, let's dig in. <laughs> what? So, Taro san no itadakimasu o kite, shogakse no koro o moida shite shimaimashita. Watashi mo so desu. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. I guess it's some, that's some funny, wonderful. <laughs> Whatever, let's dig in. It too brute. The fact that we still have to complete our daily reports on our days off remains a mystery to me. There's a different section to complete for those days now. Is there some purpose to all of this? Well, I don't really have any reason to question it. As long as I'm here, I might as well write about it. It was a really productive day, sort of. I hung out with, I hung out with everybody in the morning, then found my own thing to do in the afternoon. It certainly was fulfilling. In any case, it's back to work again tomorrow. Might as well do my best until my last day here. Traditionally, I shouldn't spend a, you sh shouldn't spend your day off troubled or worried. It should be a day of rest. But here, that goes without saying. Just being here at this resort, it's difficult not to have fun and be happy. That got it. I'll jump in as soon as I finish up my daily report. わかりました。そっか。私も書かなきゃ。ん?どうかしたんですか？あ、it's nothing。またやらしい目つきしてました。must Kozuki hadn't changed much either. She still gives me her usual string of insults. But you know, filling out these daily reports reminds me of writing reports for college assignment, uh, assign, assignments. Assignments. Oh, fucking damn it. Tabun, Kōmoku ga shibōrarete ru kōto to omaimasu yo. Kōdō wa jikan goto ni sono mama kakeba iin desu kara. Ah. 
Now that I think about it, you're right. Also, it wasn't easier when we first started writing them. That makes sense. Yep, Kozuki's pretty smart after all. Well, that should have been obvious considering she got accepted to our university. For now, we can assume she's way up there, but hey, we go to the same university and get the brag too, right? The notepad's designed so that entries are really easy to organize and order. Nagisa san ga tsukutta nda to omoimasu yo. Sasuga desu ne. Oops, yeah. Is it okay if I keep mum about it, mum about it for now? I can always mention that thing I hadn't noticed li- I had no- hadn't noticed later. Things I hadn't noticed before. Oh. Dou shimashita? Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all. Nara, ii desu kedo. There's one crucial fact. No matter how far back you look, that one fact doesn't change. We haven't seen anyone on this island other than ourselves. Magisa, Riho, Shiuri, Zango, and Konami, Yuhi, and Wataru. And of course, Kozaki and myself. Except for those people, I haven't seen anybody else. When we went to the observation deck, there was something like a fishing boat in the distance. And on the island itself, there's not a trace of human life. Which makes me wonder, who in the world was Nagisa talking to today? Perhaps we'll eventually bump to that person and get to meet them. No matter how you slice it, it's pretty odd that there aren't any guests in a resort with all these facilities. But I should record my- but should I record my doubts here? Hmm. A doubt's a doubt. I've noticed that something's off, of course. But I probably shouldn't put it in writing. As close as I can notice. Already... No. If she's already noticed that by writing our doubts in these reports, we might clear th this up quicker. Huh. What to, what to do? Should I ask her? Hey, got a minute? Yes. It's really just a small thing, but it's been bugging me recently. Yes. Are there any guests on this island? There aren't? Said it so matter of fact that it caught me off guard. Oh, I see. So したら、お客さんがお風呂に入る時間とか。ああ、well, you know, a job's a job. We'll get paid. But it's this, but it's certainly an odd job, no matter how you look at it. There's no reason to take it easy. I want to figure this out. Every question I ask only raises two more. First, there's the question of why someone spent money to construct this facility. If so, there must be a reason for it. Apart from the employee cottages, there are numerous other cottages constructed for use by guests. There are outdoor hot springs and an observation deck. There are rental kiosks for bathing suits and bikes. Even in the dining room, there are tables and chairs for both employees and guests. From all that, it's reasonable to assume that this place was intended to house more than just employees. So puzzling. Don't to think about it. I'm a little worried I won't actually get paid. Since Nagi is, uh, is already acquainted with Kozaki, that's some small degree of comfort. But I've only known Kozaki herself for several months now. <laughs> look, you look happy, Kozuki. Well, if you had a good day, then that's only natural. She's talking it out as she writes in her book. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's not it. Kozuki plotting with uh, Nagisa and an elaborate conspiracy against me is ridiculous. In the first place, I'd make a poor mark. I'm broke. There's no reason to choose me. Seriously. No, I really shouldn't give these conspiracy theories another thought. 
They're asinine. I need to get my head on straight. <sighs> Wait, what if? Oh, no, I don't know anything at all. That sucks, I can't settle down. I know, I'll take a shower. First, I'll take a shower to calm my nerves. Then I can think about this a little more metho metho methodically. There we go. Then I'll finally be able to come to a better understanding of how things really stand. If only it were that easy. Mart, I've got a bad feeling about this. Whoops. Any minute now. Couldn't sleep a wink. I woke up every hour. Even though I'd gone outside to enjoy the sea breeze, it was a relief to know that Kozaki slept like a baby. When you share a room with someone, you have to worry about details like that. Well, I suppose that's part of the job experience here. And I've got a lot of room for improvement. That's what I think, anyways. Now then. It's not that I hope she wakes up strangely. It's just that it's become an enjoyable part of my daily routine. Oh? Uh, uh, uh. Amazing, no improvement at all, even though she is, was in such high spirits yesterday. Promising she'd wake up normally today. Uh, uh, oh, are you up now? Uh, 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 No, the alarm clock. Uh, Good morning, Kozaki. What's wrong? What? What's I see. Why does she have such a strange fixation on stripping? Okay, let's stop you there. Wake up. It's fine, but wash your face for now. Don't miss the final performance of a theatrical company's one-woman show, The House of Umi. It's a must-see. Man, what's with her urge to strip anyway? Does she even have the courage to go through with it? Well, whatever. Bit by bit, I uh, slowly get changed. No, no, work is work. It was good to burn off some calories after breakfast. Even if all I had to do was use a step letter, I didn't know there'd be so many muscles involved. Understood, I'm gonna let Nagisa know. Ah, I'm gonna let Nagisa know. Oh, I see. Right. Speaking of Nagisa, should I ask what to about my concerns from yesterday? If he's a regular staffer here, then he surely must know something. Well, what if it does seem pretty easy to talk to? Hey, do you have a minute? It's just a tiny thing. It's been nagging at me for a while now, and I can't get it out of my head. I think you might be able to. Okay, man. I don't care much uh, one way or the other. Or at least that's what I'm trying to make it appear. That's how I'm trying to make it appear. If I don't seem to be deeply invested in this issue, then it'll work m to my advantage. But in by any chance, do any guests ever come here? Ha! <laughs> well, I suppose. His breezy response threw me off guard. Isn't that strange? I'm a little concerned about it. <laughs> That's exactly what I was wondering. Good, I'm not going insane after all. Yeah, that much I can say. Oh, that's right. 
Unforeseen circumstances. I can see that too. As environmental considerations, last minute changes to development plans, and opposition by the local population. I hear about things like that all the time on the news. I'm not going to be able to do that. So, I'm not going to be able to do that. Still, I can't help but see this from the perspective of a mere part-timer. I don't have any bad experiences. I'll do what I promise. If not, I'll be able to do what I promise. I'm not sure. 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 立場は上かもしれないけど部署が違う違う部署には口出ししないのが組織社会のルールってやつだよそして僕はそのルールに従って君を借りるお願いを上司にするってわけ君の中で全てつながったかな yeah, you did. Sorry for prying, though. <笑>いやいや<笑>とても素直でまともな疑問だよそして聞き方も理解度も特に問題はないしこれからもその調子で頼むよ宗太郎くん That's said. I'll give it my all. さて僕は昼食の準備をするよ君は食堂の掃除をお願いするね照明に溜まっていたホコリが全部下に落ちちゃってるからさいつもより念入りにお願いするねじゃないとホコリの中での食事になるよ Then if you'll excuse me, if you'll excuse me for now. キャタツやバケツは端に置いといていいよ午後からも同じ作業だからああそうそう君の好きな食べ物は Me? If I had to choose, I guess I really like fish, white fish especially. じゃあ白身魚のフライでも作るよタルタルソースのね Thank you, I look forward to it. 楽しみにしていていいよだって僕が作るんだからね Got it. それじゃよろしく That's if you'll excuse me. That's that. That's a little disappointing. Well, I haven't yet I haven't yet learned why the resort isn't open to the public, so I suppose I still have to worry about I still have that to worry about. But if the development plans have been delayed, then it makes sense for the construction to also follow suit. In that case, the fact that most of the roads and buildings remain unused wouldn't be that suspicious. That's not the case. We continue maintaining the resort as if it were serving its intended purpose. That's the whole reason why I'm here. I maintain the resort and in turn am being paid a wage far exceeding your typical part time job. Perhaps, was just, perhaps it just means that I get to enjoy a sneak preview of the resort before it opens. And all said and done is money mail overriding concern. That seems to be the case. Oh, senpai! Hey, oh, hey, what's up? What did I Until you f we finish, we're finished with this job, we have to pretend to be lovers. <gasps> you have to be careful to maintain that facade when we're out in public, okay? <laughs> By the way, Yumi. <laughs> Doesn't sound natural. <laughs> well, it'll do for now. Remember what we talked about yesterday? <laughs> Not that our suspicions as to why there aren't any guests here. Oh, so no koto desuka. So they got to cash down this. This place hasn't been opened to, open to the public yet, but it should be opening soon. So we're maintaining the facilities so the resort doesn't fall into disrepair. Ah, so that on this n e Yeah, I've actually been kicking all, around all sorts of ideas. When it was finally confirmed, it made sense. I didn't think you had the right idea that there's no sense in being burdened with extra worries while working. So from here on out, let's devote ourselves to work. Oh,、uh, by the way, how was work, this, work this morning? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I finished cleaning the lights and now I have to sweep the, up the dust that fell from the,、uh, on the tables and floor. I'd appreciate it,、uh, but I'll go tackle the floors. 
just have to keep up the charade of being Kozaki's lover. There shouldn't be any ma problem maintaining that until the very end. And even though the constant lying pains my heart, my work helps me make, m make up for it. Sotaro-kun. Oh, Nagisa, good work. Wataru-san kara kita wa. Bogo no tetsudai o tanomitai te hanashi. Yeah, I wanted to continue my work from this morning. Something seems different about Nagisa. Gogo no shigoto no mai ni. Kakuni o shite okitai nda kedo. Sure. Anata tachi. Watashi ni uso o tsuite inai kashira? Ah. What? Nan no koto o iwarete iru no ka. Kokoro atari wa aru hazu yo ne. This is bad, extremely bad. She knows. Uh, gotta mean that she had a conversation with Umi earlier. What I do? Umi. Hi. Koi bito sette ってどういうことなの？説明しなさい。ええっとそう。So this is it. Oh, well, there's no helping. Helping it, I have to ask Kozaki. I'm the one. Senpai. それで。Need a job, whatever it took, so I asked Kozaki for a huge favor. <laughs> this isn't Kozaki's fault in the slide, and it's all my doing. <laughs> Since Kozaki and Nagisa are acquaintances, they'll probably have to deal with one another numerous times in the future. Can't just leave a lingering bitterness between the two of them. Furthermore, Kozaki chose to help me. She lied because of me. So logically, if I do this, it should solve this problem for her. I'm sorry, I lied to you. I'm really so I really am sorry. I'm certain I'll get fired on the spot. The best I can hope for at this point is that Kozaki and Nagi's relationship isn't hurt by this. For now, all I can do is hang my head in shame. Anata, Sara ni uso o tsuku tsumori? Douse, Umi ga awatete, atashi no toi ni kotaeta n desho? Atashi ga kare shi na no? To kita toki ni, so kotaeleba, ya totte moraeru to omotta n desho? So desu. That's not what I'm. 原因はあなたにあるのかもしれないけど、嘘をついてまで海をかばう必要はないわ。海だって自分の発言に責任を持つべき年よ。違うかしら？なぎささんの言う通りです。嘘をついたのは私の意思です。だから格好つけたつもりがもうそうじゃないってことよ、宗太郎くん。Fuck! I keep doing this. Why? Why is this? Why am I so bad at, with with the accent skipping in this game? I'm sorry. もちろん、覚悟はできているわよね。Yes. ま待ってください、なぎささん。何かしら？お願いです。先輩を辞めさせないでください。小崎。先輩は私のために自分を犠牲にしてくれました。だから今度は私が犠牲になる番です。先輩ではなく、私を。海、お願いします。先輩だけは。私がいつ辞めさせるって言ったのかしら。It was so obvious that was this was coming. Like there's got to be some reason to make a romance with the other characters make sense. So somehow, the fact that it's a lie had to at some point be revealed. So he can go about romancing other people. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but still, it's the truth. Huh? 嘘をついたことは悪いことよ。履歴書に嘘を書けば、当然解雇される場合もあるし。でもそれは上司が判断すること。そして私は解雇するつもりはないわ。なぎささん。そうたろうくんはしっかり仕事をこなしてくれているもの。だから最後までその調子で頑張ってもらうわ。I like I I just really want so to just like oh I appreciate that、uh, and now that you know that it was all a lie, do we still have to live in the same room like in the same like room because that is that is insanely awkward. You have no idea. She keeps trying to strip in the morning for some fucking reason. <laughs> それとも今すぐ帰る？そうしたいなら構わないわよ。No, please allow me to continue working. Thank you. じゃあ最後までお願いね、そうたろうくん。Yes, I want to let you down. For what it's worth, I'm truly sorry for lying to you. それはもういいわ。誰かを守る嘘
。私は嫌いじゃないわ。海も、宗太郎くんに負けないように頑張りなさい。いいわね。はい頑張りますじゃあ早くここの掃除を済ませてちょうだいそろそろみんなもここへ来る頃だからそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれじゃあそれ How are you doing, Kozaki? <laughs> It was out of our hands. I was prepared for the worst myself. Honestly, my legs were shaken. <laughs> Thank you, Kozaki. <laughs> Anyways, let's finish this cleaning as soon as we can. The others will be here soon. <laughs> Anyway, I came here for the sake of a job and. for the sake of a job to make as much money as, po as I could. Now I have the chance to keep on doing that. And I have Umi and Nagisa to thank for that. Let me fuck the manager. Eh? What are you doing here? Kozaki's assignment this afternoon should be cleaning the outdoor hot spring. That's what she told me this morning. Hi. ちょっと早めに上がりたいと思って、結構頑張って終わらせてきたんです。I thought I'd have some alone time in my room, so I'd plan to take a small break. The tone of her voice is lower than usual. I'm concerned something happened when she finished early. Are you still worried about what happened earlier? What do you just feel under the weather? 体は特に普通です。ただ、なぎささんに悪いことをしてしまったので。Ah, I know. Kozaki is just being herself. She's the type to sit and reflect about a situation like this. Since Nagisa's an important person to her, she's even more likely to dwell on it. But it wasn't just your fault. We both lied to you, Nagisa. Everything you did, you did for me. I was the one who insisted we keep up the roots, so it's my fault. Well, I doubt they'll, they'll, they'll cheer her up. Those are the facts. Even if it's true, I really am grateful. For you sticking up for me, Kozaki. So, I give a slight smile, trying to convey my gratitude more fully. Because I can't quite put it into words. I almost said something embarrassing. Yep, guilty as charged. Because saying thank you is too embarrassing, I cheat and give her a smile instead. Was that? Like what? I see. There's no reason to force it out of her. They're her thoughts and hers alone. Sure. I don't I don't mind, what is it? Nagisa san niwa mo bale chai mashita yo ne. Senpai to watashi ga. Fuck. Honto wa koi bito doshi cha nai. Even though telling her was a spur of the moment decision, I think it was the right one. Watashi mo anshin shi mashita. Demo mado bale te inai hito tachi ga imasu yo ne. Oh, that's right, I doubt Nagisa would tell them about it. Mo shi hanashite ina katta to shite. Sono. That's a good question. What should we do? We don't have to hide it anymore. But it's not like we necessarily have to share it with them either. To be honest, I'm fine either, either way. What do you think, Kozaki? Ah, that, it's not just my decision. Why is she so fidgety? なんですけどあ,あ本当に良ければで構いませんので私は恋人設定のままでいいかなってそんな風に思っているんですほ,ほらあれですあの部屋の空きも他にないって言っていましたし私と先輩で相部屋をしていることが不自然になっちゃいますので That's certainly true 
It's not like I can move out if there's no place to move into. But it's not quite appropriate to uh, room with someone you're not rom romantically involved with. Nope, even if you were lovers, there's no rule that says we have to share the same room. Isn't that strange for a man and woman, mere acquaintances really, to share the same room for a month? That's not necessarily for, not, not, not no, if it's not necessary for us to lie, then we should just tell the truth. I think we should come clean. It'll only get more difficult the longer we hide it. No, no, I understood why you thought that way. That means we'll have to find another room, after all. But, you know, we shouldn't worry about that until we have to. We can ask Nagisa about it. I think you're just as honest. You're agreeing to my suggestion, after all. When you have a guilty conscience, you don't hesitate to stay true to your morals. That takes bravery. So, when we're having dinner with everyone later, let's apologize together. Yeah, it is for the best. More importantly, we'll be able to finish out our jobs with a, a clean conscience. Even if it's only for a little while. All the part-timers working here can say they truly knew one another. I think that's for the best. That's why I want to buckle down and carry out my duties here to, to the best of my abilities. Me too. I think so too. Yep, leave it to me. It's nearly time for dinner. Time for dinner. Let's relax in these few moments we have left. Then we'll come clean. Nothing else back. So we were all joshing ya. The truth was, Kozaki and I weren't really in a relationship. Despite that fact, I'd still be allowed the privilege of working here. Nagisa had concisely explained both points to all those present. It's just a phrase. That's not true. So this Chigano this Specious Danshi Kinse no Hanazono ni Saku Ijirin no Kurobaraka Warukunai Demo Chihomo Danshi this you Otoko da toka on Nada toka Kudaranai Hanashida to Omoanai Kari. Sango is confused. Matter's words are insightful as always. I'm surprised there. Oh my god, you're stupid! <laughs> Riho kun wa yukai da ne. When it comes down right, right down to it, I've got the feeling that everyone on this island is pleasant. You especially. Oh, my. Wouldn't I be too? Ano. Watashi wa petsu ni ima no mama de mo. I've been putting an on for a fair board, no you. Thanks for everything until now, Kozaki. Uh like, Kozaki just really wants this everything to stay the same because she's probably too embarrassed to admit to the fact that she likes him. So she just really want every wants everything to stay the same, but can't, like, really insist on it without making it obvious. So you work at Akara, so that Okuniwa, Hube, or Kakeruko, Shibaraka, Konoshokodo, then Netomari. Oh, no, Mate could have said, Oh, no, no. Oh? <laughs> what? Almost everyone's jaw, almost every jaw dropped in unison. 
Are we already on the route? I did not expect that. Are we, are we already on the route? Are we already on the route? Hold on, hold up, hold up. Let me like, hold on, hold on. Does it like say her route? No, it doesn't. Too bad. Fuck. And no one was more shocked than Kozaki. At first everyone turned and looked at Chiori, but soon Kozaki was the only one left staring, eyes wide. さん。ああ、あの。それは<笑> God damn it, Wataru! You confused Sango! This is your Chief! Yeah, Boku no Hatsgen or Amari Mani, you can I hunga eat to move. Your life saver, your Wataru. What does the Steva? Monday Arimase? Nemo! Ah no, Yoku, a Vakarana, no desuka. Umi Santo, toast the Monday Ganakata no Nara. Shiori Santo is to demotize a nine of them.部屋割りを改める。その元々の趣旨を考えると、しおりくんと総太郎くんが同質じゃ意味がないね。確かに。はあ。早く地方の言葉を真に受けるところでした。No, really, let's do him this time around, please. By the way, why is it that before I moved in, sharing Wataru's room was never an option? Perhaps. No, it's a much bigger. That's a much bigger can of worms. Let's hold off on that one until a better time. But it is right. For now, a sleeping bag will suit me just fine. If I need a bath, I can always use the hot springs. Oh, don't worry. I've had worse. So this is ああ。夜中に自販機とか使いにくいもんね。そういう意味じゃないよ、サンゴちゃん。あの、いや、やっぱり私の部屋に。はあ。いそう、逆転の発想で夜はみんなで食堂に集まるのはどうかな。Again, to be purpose. Not that is sure what you mean by that. では、朝まで生うにょですね。うの。俺のターン。ドロー5。このカードがフィールドに5倍ある時、個人合体が発動して。Um Draw 5 isn't a thing. Polymerization isn't is, is Yu-Gi-Oh thing. 5 cards? Also why draw 5 does do that? What? I think I'm having, a, I'm having an aneurysm right now. Sango-chan, that's probably a local rule. House rules? More like rules for me alone. My job is not a camp job. I don't want to do a job. It's obvious. Sotaro is... Ah, no. I mean, that'd be kind of exhibitionism, you know? I, oh, oh, that's not what you meant, oh, okay. Nagisa interrupts, calling everyone to order. これは遊びの相談じゃないんだから。それで、マキさん。はい。どうして宗太郎くんを預かりたいの本当は最初から欲しかったんです。宗太郎のことが。ええ。ええ。ですあの、それは Sotaro, Kito e Motif. 
なるほどそういうこと For some reason, Nagisa seems to be catching on. Look after me, how? I don't get it. Shiori, what did you mean by that? Sotaro niwa, watashi no hea o teikyo shimas. Dakara, Sotaro wa sono taika to shite, watashi no e no model ni n a t e kudasai. Me, model for your paintings. Hai. Ii wa ne sore. Sai yo. Um, what is my opinion? Iana no? Sotony Hori da Sarri or Iva Daibu Ito Mokedo. You've got a point. Nara Yokata Janai. Nyosha no Riaki got to steer. Win win no canke yo. So you ne, Nakisa? So that o e n a t o Omoimas. And all that ridiculously fast. Looks like I'll be living in Shuri's room from now on. From my perspective, I suppose it's the best I could have hoped for. But I wonder, this is really for the best? Is this already Shiori Round or not? I'm confused. Why, hello there. Hold on, let me just get like a, a route guide up. Because if I open a route guide. Hold on. Koi, Sora, Natsu, Last Resort. Resort. Route. Guide. Fool no novel. There we go. There you go, Maki Shiori. Huh! That's already- Oh, I've accidentally stumbled into a route. Oof. Since you're supposed to help the others, help Kozaki or Shiori, help Shiori, and ask Shiori about, about your plans. So I just accidentally stumbled into a route. What? It's still bullshit that you have to unlock at least one route. In order to go for Nagi's, uh, that you have to complete one route in order to go for Nagi's. Uh, like I would go for Nagi's uh, fucking drive uh, at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Snap! Uh, we are in <laughs> Nagi's right? No, not Nagi's. She is right now. Then cleaning the floors with a scrub br brush, a uh, question suddenly occurs to me. Um. Hi. The baths cleaned regularly, right? So, this is me. Hobo. Tabun, dai dai mai nichi da to moi masu. Saite demo, mika ni kai gurai wa. Oh, she's quite the eager beaver. Mame desu ka? Yeah, I mean to I mean to say, say she's reliable. Nagisa is, a, uh, is meticulous to a fault. So this go? Oh really? I don't really worry about the shower and the tub. I might clean that. I might clean and, and the tub. I might clean that one once a month. Is it? I mean, I always clean it before mold starts growing. But. It does get pretty hot and humid in June. I wonder. But it's not like I've gotten sick or anything. Begin with. <laughs> Grab Kozaki's hand, currently gripping a spawn sponge. At first glance, this hand of yours might look clean, but in actuality, it's teeming in all, with all sorts of germs. If you let yourself get worked up about trivial things like that, then you'll have to trouble eating even a single meal. <laughs> but it's the truth. So, this is your name? Senpai, he doi this, you know? Nanigan is surely some more he doi! Ah, demo, 
、掃除のポリシーに関しては、海の方が、宗太郎より正しいと思います。ここは、山側からは、草木と土ぼこりが、そして海辺からは、砂粒が舞い上がってくるので、定期的な清掃が、必要なんです。ほらほら、先輩反省してください。心を入れ替えて、家でも毎日お風呂掃除です。出ないと、私が先輩の家に行った時に。えでも海は、宗太郎の彼女さんじゃないんですよね。That's right. Why would you be using the bath at my place?Oh, I know you're planning on getting wasted again. Then again, drunk and help. Then, drunk and help us, you'll make your way back to my place to crash for the night. お持ち帰り That'd be rather bold, I don't think so. Don't worry about it. Our boyfriend and girlfriend act is over, so we don't have to keep the charade anymore. Don't look so sad! Don't look so sad! 私が毎日洗っています。だから、宗太郎に触られても、そんなに汚くはないです。ちょっと、汚いだけです。Most cases, I'd call that cleanliness. But the way she's saying it, well, it's c h u t y so I guess it can't be helped. She doesn't mean anything by it, nothing bad at least. そうですか。Anyway, why is Kozaki looking so sulky? Plus, she's glaring at me. Perhaps she's still stinging from that cesspool comment. But I wasn't even the one who said it. <sighs> it finally finished cleaning. As far as I'm concerned, the place is spotless. There's not a speck of dirt, not a strand of hair to be found. So, how's it look? I immediately turned to Shiori, awaiting her verdict. そんなもんです。大変お疲れ様でした。もう帰っていいですよ。Alright! Judy is just collect- Judy just complimented me. So am I now a fully licensed bath cleaner or what? そうかもしれないです。Once I return to the mainland, do you think I have a future as a professional bath cleaner? I wonder if the bathhouses will put me on speed dial. 銭湯って大衆浴場ですよね。It's all the rage. Next time, why don't we go together? It's just soaking in a tub. I don't think a first timer has anything to worry about. But, it's good to see a bathroom. That's right. No, wait! That's not what I meant! It's a bad thing, boy. But I've managed to clean this bath so thoroughly. So you, but you take a night and I this. Yeah, yeah, I know. Siri, please don't let him.、Uh, uh, what? I think that's supposed to be her line. Right, like that. Comment about the attendant booth. The attendance booth. Bandai ni suareba. Nudo de san no sanko ni naru ka na te. So. Omotan des. She looks down, blushing. Oh. Hora. Senpai tara. What? Ma. Konkai no tokoro wa yurush ta gemasu. Karoji de mada. The compass? No, simply making small talk while we work. Shiori, you too? Shiori laughs at me. 本当に仕方のない人なんですから。小関 manages to laugh, you mess, you pounce. Well, whatever. I scratch my head, then join in their laughter. I guess when three people are working together, a little levity is a good thing. But for some reason, I feel like they're laughing at me rather than with me. 
That's unexpected. Does this playful teasing mean they're getting more comfortable around me? Glad I came to this island. That's nothing. Rest my hand on Kozaki's head. But I wasn't trying to be cool. Thank you, Kozaki. Cheers. We're getting it and it's gotten late. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. We bow in unison. With this, we're sort of alike, aren't we? I was thinking the exact same thing, but I didn't want to say it out loud. Um, so you've been to a formal marriage interview before? Not. I figured. ずっと気になっていたんですけど。どうして年下の私を三付けで呼ぶんですか？私は総太郎と呼んでいるのに。え？Even though you're technically younger, you're still my senior here at work. So in truth, I'm the student that you're the teacher. なら、それはもうしなくてもいいです。But after changing how I address you this late in the game. 総太郎はもう。免許改善です。だからもう、その、ブレコなんです。ふぅ、ちょっと <sighs> Understand, Shuri. How was that? It felt a little weird. So this ne. Demo, kochi no ho ga kiraku de ii to omoimasu. Yeah. The truth, I think I'll get used to it pretty. My, I don't get used to it right away. <laughs> but it sure makes me feel nostalgic. Natsukoshi. Back in the day, or rather until I came here, I worked as a tutor. At that job, I tutored a girl who was about the same age as you. Sotaro-sensei? Nothing is grandiose as that. I smiled bitterly, but while teaching other people, I managed to learn something important about myself. How should I put it? I felt like the job suited my personality. Well, there were some extenuating circumstances, uh... Sotaro-sensei? Direct consequences of my own actions, huh? If you used a restrict, the strictest decision, a uh, definition, then I suppose that would be true. But anyway, that's all in the past. I don't like it when things get gloomy, so I shrug my shoulders and put on a smile. Left off my story before the missing, m missed meeting with the new tutoring client. Psychologically speaking, it didn't leave any lasting scars. Honestly, I was more concerned about causing trouble for the other person involved. Well, honestly, no. But how cool I played it, money was ultimately the most important thing. So in that sense, the loss of income really hurt. But if I had continued working as a tutor, then I know I would have come to this island. So I'd like to think my story has a happy end ending. Do you think so? So, I Her eyes tell me she's being sincere. Well, I really didn't have much room to maneuver in that situation. Especially financially. It all came down to money. Ugh, I don't like this at all. The want of money truly is the root of all stupidity. That's why I've grown myself off in a lot of ways. Sometimes I'm disgusted by the person I've become. <laughs> But my mental capacity? It's true that I'm no rocket scientist, but still. Ah, sorry, Oh, has someone been admiring my strength of character? Honestly, I'm not the wonderful person you think I am. What? You praised me only to take it back? 
Shiri, you just nat naturally criticize all the people, don't you? So not so many were not got on this kid. Gonna to kick us off. It's all got okay to go. He said they could say. Absolutely. I tried to lift the mood in the room of the room. Even if she hadn't been making such a pensive face, I'd already understand. She didn't mean to be hurtful. She's simply bad at putting her thoughts into words. I know. So, 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 so. Pose or tote more at them, I guess. Abra would tell you by the one I know that. It's only night painting, you know. Not a good you to tote the year by the one I know that. She's just getting around, right? Right? Yeah, I'm sure that I'm slow saying a lot of trivial, trivial things right now. Um, you didn't mean anything bad by that, right? Eh? No, no, mind. I'm reading into things and it, whether I'm reading into things or not doesn't matter. Given the condition of my parole, I'll need to be the that version of Sotra who's more tolerant of others. If I can manage that, I'll probably definitely be a better person by summer's end, probably. Shirdi's hand dances furiously across the canvas. Oh, watching her work, I get the sense she's capturing even the most minor details. She moves much more than I'd expected. Her elbow pivots like the hinge of a craft of a draftman's compass. I didn't know all that much about painting when we first started. But her technique seems highly refined. I can tell that much just by watching. If I had to say, to say it, she's a whirlwind of activity. <gasps> oh. Ah! Um, there we go. I forgot the M. Okay. The way she carries herself, the tone of her voice. Nothing about her right now suggests an ordinary girl. When she first approached the canvas, she would expression was seriousness itself. Shiri's hand comes to a sudden halt. Are you finished? Yeah, sorry about that. This is my first time modeling for a painting. This was several times, no, ten times harder than I expected. I have to maintain this relaxed pose without moving a muscle. A simple act is, ironically, incredibly difficult. When I worked at the tavern, sometimes I'd have to man the bar by myself and everyone else is called in sick. Some wise, this is even harder than that. Good. This isn't good. Every joint in my body is creaking like a rusty hinge. Sorry, I'm at my limit. Having apologized in advance, I break my pose. When Judy sees that, <sighs> she lets out an enormous sigh. You have to look so disappointed, you know. Rakuton? Stay masen yo. Sore dokoro ka, hajimete ni shite wa maa maa datta to omoimasu. Hearing her say that fills me with a sense of contentment. She seems sincere. Then I'm wanted by your high praise. I know. So come on, Eva. Who met the night is? I know. Since she doesn't really get sarcasm. Next time, I'll be a little longer to tie it to my hair. I'll be happy. Uh, we're still doing this. Yes. I'll continue to do it until I'm good. What the heck? From a layman's perspective, that seems pretty harsh. Ready? Stand up and start walking towards Shiori. One, one, with one glance at the canvas, I can see that she's drawn a remarkable picture. It's just my amateur opinion, but it looks great. The canvas was entirely black and white, however, there were no colors, only shades of gray. Are you more of a sketch artist? Body inspiration! Oh, this is just a draft. I give a brief nod and returned my attention to the picture. I see, even though she calls it a draft, there's enormous attention to detail here. I admit it, the real reason this drawing turned out so well was the quality of your model, right? <laughs> Crack a quiet, quick joke as I finish looking at the drawing, then resume my pose. Oh, so that's how she reacts. Crap, I can't have smalling. It doesn't stop there. It Blossoms into full blown laughter. What must my la face look like right now? Imagine it's one I wouldn't want anybody else uh, to see. Yachini's got a front row seat. Sotaro no kawa, 
とても単純だから書きやすかったです。へえ。That's! Should I take that as a compliment? No. But anyways, I think your version of me might be slightly better than the real thing. I've never been a particularly photogenic person, or rather, I've never had a particularly handsome face, period. But on her canvas, she's drawn a version of me that's true to life, yet exudes a certain charisma. Painting and photography are each judged by different criteria, of course. But even so, I feel like I could reach right into this drawing and touch every last strand of hair. Ah, I've got a great idea. Should I get a copy of this on my resume? This should get me hired. So you can't go to the store. Mother, Matching, I know, Otto Saremasio. Well, yeah, I guess I was just trying to say how much your drawing impressed me. Even more impressive is that I'm the subject of this drawing. I'm no bit player, I'm the star. But more than anything, the power of this picture comes from the fact that she drew it. She brought it to life. There's a flash of insight that quickly solidifies into conviction. It's a flash of insight that quickly solidifies into conviction. This might sound insulting, but I thought that doing something like this would be the same as having my picture taken, you know? But、uh, that's, uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. There's clearly something different here. I got to see the side I know. So, what do you think of it? I take a moment to consider the question, searching inside myself for the answer. Photography wants to capture a moment as accurately as possible. First has warmth and soul, the second is more mechanical than digital, I suppose. Sakon wa digital camera ga zensei desu ga, shashin ni datte analog datta koro ga arimasu yo. That's right. Kare ni digital de egaku e ni datte atatakami wa arimasu. And what about this exact, exacting level of detail? Sore wa aru de shou ne. Seems I have yet stumb- I haven't yet stumbled upon the answer she's looking for. Sorry, I honestly don't know. Lens を通して見た風景と人の目を通して見る風景。これはもうその時点で違っているんです。Does it? 物理的に人間の目は二つあります。ふ<笑><笑><笑> just angry rice mommy comes in through the door while Beta just fucking makes a landfall through her wall. <laughs> you talking shit! And actually, right, not, not really Margaret, since Margaret does still have both of her eyes, however, she does use、uh, her eye patch a lot. Camera was. 特殊な用途を除けばほとんど一つのレンズですそれに人間はレンズの他に自分の脳を通してものを見るから実は全く同じ視点からの風景でも人によって見え方は違っているんですそうですねあるいは着目する部分とそうでない部分つまりフィルターが違うということです。Human, でも、写真を撮るカメラにも個性や個体差があります。そして、レンズを通したはずの写真からもカメラマンの意図が伝わってくることもある。だから、私の答えはこうなります。どんな形であれ、現実を切り取っているのが写真。そして、現実にあるものから、いろんなものを足したり引いたりして、そもそも現実にない情景を作り出したりするのが、え、なんだと思うんです。はぁ、I see. If you look at it from that perspective, the background of the drawing doesn't quite match the room it was drawn in. Contains elements nowhere to be found in these four walls. I think I understand. She looks down at her feet. What's wrong? I'm a little bit of 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 a 
Junior's eyes have gone adorably wide from embarrassment. They're frantically sir. They frantically search the room for a safe place to rest their gaze. I don't think you have anything to be embarrassed about. In fact, I'm a little jealous. Yeah. There's nothing in my life that fills me with such passion. Work, get paid, work, get paid. When I'm not repeating that cycle, I study. Up until now, in fact, even now, the work day routine occupies most of my life. An optimist would say I manage my time well. A pessimist would say that I don't have any time to manage. It's like running a marathon that never ends, with no chance of to stop for a breather along the route. I don't want to say whose fault it is, but my parents' face flicker across my mind's eye for a moment. No, don't think about that. It'll only harden my heart further. I'm not them. I can do this on my own. That's why. No. So. No. So. Taro. Uh. Uh. What was it? Sare wa kochira no serifu desu. そうたろう。とても怖い顔していました。あ、あ、sorry。No、no、sorry about that。I've この絵はまだ死体なんです。いや、言ってみたよ。だから絵が完成するまで付き合ってください。ソウタロウの顔すごく描きやすいんです。あの it's no big deal. Well, I've done this pose for her. If she's this thankful, then perhaps I've got a future in modeling. Yeah, right, kid. God, don't get cocky. To begin with, I doubt I have this much fun modeling for anyone else. It was definitely my first and last venture into the modeling industry. But for now, I'll give it my all. Once it's finished, Shiri and Shiri looks at me from her canvas. I wonder what sort of expression will be on her face. Can't wait to find out. Anyways. <laughs> I think it's just about time for bed. I'm gonna hit the sack. Uh, can I use the sofa over here? Doza. Good night then. After I close my eyes, I heard the sounds of something like water spraying, making a gotcha gotcha noise over and over again. She's probably cleaning her painting supplies and putting them back in order. I wonder if she's being considerate of my slumber. Seems like she's keeping the noise to a minimum. A few minutes later. There it is creaking at the bathroom doors, followed by the sound of uh, the shower turning on. This? I can't sleep. Only a couple of walls separate me and the showering Shiori. This is the first thing that popped to my mind. The sound of splashing water feels like it's the Dolby surround sound. <sighs> uh, why does I don't know why I just rem remembered that. <laughs> like with the oh, 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 what was it again? Hold on, let me just look this up. Uh. Let's see if I can find it quickly. There we go. When someone compl uh, compliments me, and it's like the THX logo, like you know it, and someone comments like, when someone compliments me, I too make a loud, jarring noise. Hey, I like your shirt. <sighs> Hold on. Is there like on YouTube? THX Not what I wanted. Uh, sound effect remastered, huge 
warning, huge base. Oh no, what's this? This year, like this, for some fucking reason, would always be so fucking loud at the start of movies that THX was involved in. Like, I don't know why, it was just so fucking uh, ear piercing. I'll admit it, I'm a little flustered. Even after sharing a room with Kozaki for so long, it seems I haven't built up uh, an immunity to these sorts of things. If I start fresh with a new, mo new roommate, then maybe the tension starts anew as well. Once again, Shiori, different as they are, share one thing in common. Neither is in a relationship with me. So why is that at every... T why, so why is it at every time? Why this anxiety? Times like these, the best thing to do is count sheep. No, this calls for drastic measures. I reach up on the... Open the windows... Window blinds a crack and look outside. It's like peering into a deep blue sea. Like I'm at a drift in a magnificent o o ocean of stars. Countless points of light twinkle in the night sky, each one endeavoring to outshine all the others. Tonight, maybe I'll count the stars until I sleep. <laughs> Guess it was overly, uh, paranoid there. I'm forgetting the word paranoid for some reason, what the fuck? Uh, back down a half. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so, um, what was so urgent? About the future? <sighs> Easy enough for her to say that when Kozaki isn't here. Nagisa levels her gaze directly at me. But what about Kozaki? She has, work, has to work alone. Then. Of course I am. Kozaki might seem like she's grown accustomed to life on this island, but she's still painfully shy at heart. Abandoning her would be... Is that a statement of a friend? Or is it a statement of a friend? As a friend, of course, we were never dating in the first place. It's a strong feeling. But it's a good feeling. The sea is the best I know of the sea. Like, she knows. Like, she's seen the fact that Umi likes him. Seriously? So basically she's trying to make it obvious to Umi to just help her get over it or something. Because it's best the best for her. That might be true. But if I spent the rest of my life working part apart from Kozaki, I'll never be able to fulfill my obligations to her. Mm. Of course not, I'm not worried at all. Okay, maybe I'm worried it'll just a little. Nara, Atashini Makasete Chodai. Daishobu. Umi mo sore de natuku steru kara. Kozaki said yes. Eh? So na ni atashi no koto utagao nara. Chokse tsu umi ni kite mi tatte ii no yo. Nah, if you say so, I'll take your word for it. So. Nara, kimari ne. Maki san mo. Sore de ii wa ne. なら、マキさん、お願いね。あ、それとも、ソータロー君にマキさんのことをお願いしたらいいのかしら。Of course, I'll assist my senior however I can. そう。なら、二人とも。よろしくね。By the way, I hope you realize that I'm going to go for Nagisa's route the second it's available. There is no debate. And, uh, like I said, uh, Kozaki is going to go last since I can just see the eye route dilemma happening again. <sighs> this
Leaving it at that, Nagizek said exit at the dining room. Hmm, in other words... From now on, I'll be spending the majority of every day with Shiori. Just me alone with Shiori. Sotaro? Eh. Nope. And nothing on your eyes or mouth either. Let me treat you to something by way of apology. You got it. On that note, another work day begins. Nonetheless, something feels different now. All the time I've been sweeping dust off this road, I've fretted over it. Like that just came right out with it. How does she intend for me to help Kozaki? I mumble the obvious question to myself. It's just that she's a hopeless klutz. If he's been a direct victim, you know, she ends up soaked from head to toe. She ended up soaked from head to toe. Shirley, who was cleaning nearby, stopped what she was doing. Like I said, it was an act of God. An opportune moment. Wait, what, what are you talking about? about? <sighs> this is not be, not be going anywhere near, anywhere weird. So I That's true. There are a lot of things Kozaki like can't see on her own. That's why I find it difficult to let her let down my guard. I've explained this already, haven't I? Our stories match note for note. She's one of my very first friends. It's only natural that I'd worry about, that I'd worry about her. And what do you mean by that? Shiri's unexpected fastball stops me in my tracks. She raises her eyebrows at me. Suppose it's possible? Let's see where she's going with this. If this were me from a few days ago, I would have denied, 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 and then denied some more. But things have changed since then, so I just state my p position as straightforwardly as I can. I like Kozaki. No, I liked Kozaki. So Judy slowly picks up her work where she left it off. Well, Blight might be a bit of an exaggeration. Even though they're my feelings, I don't quite fully understand them. To tell you the truth, the question's been weighing on my mind. I couldn't just let the opportunity pass me by. She was a cute junior of mine, after all. I had zero interest in her. I hadn't even noticed she was a girl. If I even tried saying something like that with a straight face, it'd be obvious I was lying. Nada. I shake my head. Since we weren't going out in the first place, the concept of breaking up wasn't even on the table. No, a confession was also out of the question. How could I have confessed I didn't even know my own feelings on the matter? Besides, when I look back at it now, it feels like a passing fancy. It's not like it was some feverish infatuation. It's not like I even had time to, for love in my life. Anyway, the very base of our relationship is somewhat unique. Did you want to hear this? Are you upset? No, she's not angry. She's... With an attitude like that, it's even harder for me to talk to you about it. But at this point, I can't not tell her. Her grim determination begins to burn within me. Our crazy, complicated... Relationship all began because Kozaki had too much to drink one night, and it brought out her inherent defenselessness. I proceeded to tell Shiori everything that had transpired between me and Kozaki since that night. So that's it in a nutshell. In Kozaki's defense, most of what's happened has been my fault. Yeah, something along those lines. How? Aside from coming clean, there really wasn't much else I could do. I hadn't intended to do, uh, to, to do what I did. I'm not that type of person. Even now, I wonder if she realizes that's a complicated situation. 
、翔太郎が、そんな人じゃないって、分かっています。Really、so? でなければ、どんな事情があっても、男性と二人で島に来たりはしないと思います。相部屋なんて、もってのほかです。だから、心配しなくてもいいと思います。宗太郎はもう、とっくに、許されています。He's good for me? Really? That's really true. It'd be great, a great weight off my mind. Thank you. <laughs> But she can still be pretty stubborn sometimes. もしもまだ誤解があるのなら、早めに解いておいた方がいいと思います。That makes sense. 今からでも、海との相部屋になった方がいいです。でないと、多分、元に戻れなくなります。Fuck. Why'd you wait so long? <laughs> I'm not going back. I'm about this to clench your teeth. <laughs> you heard me, didn't you? What son is done? At this point, there's no going back. You must me, I think that's for the best. To begin with, I wasn't wondering if things would work out between me and Kozaki. Sure, we shared a room, but I thought that they had a rash de- that, that had been a rash decision on her part. When she'd woken up in my room the morning after that party, she'd acted without thinking it then, then too. Sleeping in the same room as a man every night must have caused her no small amount of stress. I won't put her through that again. I want her to sleep soundly at night. That's why.、I'm I'll leave Kozaki to Nagis, so from now on I'll just focus on my own work. If you want to know my original reason for coming to this island, then the answer is simple money. So this guy. Yeah, there's no rest for the poor and weary. I say this with a smile, I hope. Even for Shiori, sharing a room with me must be something of a burden. She'd never show it, of course, but my presence must be taking its toll. And like Kozaki, she doesn't have to pretend that I'm her boyfriend. Instead, I've been allowed to room with her under the condition that I model for her paintings. That doesn't seem like an entirely fair trade. Yet she took me in. Why? I really need to think properly. My jaw is starting to hurt. Today I'll be modeling for her again. Using your bushes this time, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. When all said and done, her work yesterday was nothing more than a draft. But、uh, it was a draft she spent a lot of time and effort on. I know it is just a layman's opinion, but it'd be a sh- shame to paint over such a beautiful drawing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'd love to accept your offer, but、uh, taking my own picture like that is a little. Are you going to put it in the picture? Think of the splash it'd make. People could hang photocopies all over town with the headline Suspicious Person, Beware. If I were looking for a part time job in the arts, then I might have a shot. But once they saw the real thing, they'd surely be disappointed. It's not like ordering a ramen where you can just send it back and ask for another bowl. Really? You're not like Tonkotsu? So, I'm not going to do it. ラーメン屋さんって、その。あ、oh, あ、yeah. it's not all that easy for a girl to walk into one by herself, is it? です。That's right, I got a feeling a guy like me has a lot, of, has a lot to learn. あれだな。してみたいです。Hmm. In that case, instant ramen won't do. She's gotta eat the real deal. Got it. Next time we'll go together. Wait, the silent doesn't have a ramen shop, does it? はい。Okay, let's get some ramen when we're back on the mainland. I know. I don't 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 know. I see. Even though she's young, she has to work non stop. Her background is certainly different than mine. She must have it rough. If that's the case, where should we go get to get ramen? Could I make it of my own? As an amateur, that's probably aiming a bit too high. I don't want her first experience with ramen to be inedible. You know that, no matter how you look at it, I can't really walk up to Water and ask him to make tonkutsu ramen. 
Like, don't go to the ramen. No, could there be a way? It's an excellent chef, after all, with a keen eye for detail. But what about the ingredients? I don't think we could just casually find some pork bone stock for the tonkotsu. Hmm? If I asked you, you wouldn't, could, couldn't you ferry it over from the mainland? For the expense, that water and I could, or I could pay for it, so I'd have to negotiate with Nagisa. But wait, why not just ask him to include it as a part of the regular dinner menu? Ah, oh, that sounds perfect, doesn't it? Operation don't go to the go. But if I want this to happen, I need to get started right away. Whether it's the roasted pork, the rich broth, or the noodles themselves, I'll make some. Uh, I'll make sure everything's perfect. I won't rest until I see this through. I'm going to crush Tonkotsu like a tin can. I need to sugarcoat it. Oh no, balls are got tired. Oh, sorry. I rushed to correct myself after Shiori calls me out. Without even being aware of it, my left hand had curved as if holding a bowl of ramen while my right hand gripped invisible chopsticks. Never underestimate the power of ramen. What the fuck? 30 minutes later! Can you talk now? Demo. <laughs> I'll take the proper precautions. For a few moments, we stare each other down. Then... <laughs> it wasn't clear who started it, but we both ended up bursting into laughter. Even though I feel anxious and fidgety inside, I crack a shy smile once more. Those feelings of awkwardness might never leave me entirely. But little by little, in the sh short time we've been living together, I'm starting to adapt to her rhythms. That's my sense of it, anyway. If I had known the type of person she really was, we might have gotten along better in the beginning. So, I have a question for the amazing Shiori. <laughs> While there's much silence is good for the body or, or the mind, so let's distract ourselves, ourselves with conversation. So, you got on a demo. Two more no, I really didn't want to hide this. Hold on. Need to stretch myself real quick. Ah! Uh, oh, my legs. Oh, oh, oh. I suddenly lost all strength in my legs. Oh! <laughs> uh, did some work in the garden today. Uh, not used to that kind of stuff. A lot of car carrying heavy stuff, so. Kinda exhausted today. Probably gonna sleep uh, sleep well tonight. <sighs> if it really does frighten you, it's okay to run away. Now then, our first question: What inspired you to take a painting? それは、えっと、確か最初は絵本が好きで、だから私も絵本の真似をして絵を描くようになって。Please take your time if you'd like. Hi. She gives me a small nod. Saishawa did you learn oil painting there? それだけじゃなく一通りです。油絵はもちろん水彩切り絵。あとは版画とか。だけど今でも続いているのは油絵と。so, manga, huh? That's pretty interesting, to be honest. What type of manga do you draw? I'd love to see. So, that's it. Are they going to create a manga together? Because we ha no, do know that when it comes to studying, he's more inclined to the liter literary subjects. Since that's the kind of stuff he's currently studying in university, is he going to try writing for the manga? So 
satisfied at being a particular interest of hers, she shuts me down, blushing furiously all the while. I see, then one day I'll just have to snoop around the room. It was just a joke! In the case, why does she know golf terms like straight in the pond? Maybe her father was a golfer? Well, regardless, there's no pond outside this room, no only ocean. Still, I think this changes my whole image of you. Look here, your sketch suggests the sublime or rarefied air of a fine artist. You know what I mean? <laughs> Judy tilts her head, confused. Oh, well, it was my, that was my general impression anyway. No, there's no need to apologize. But, that's the... No, there's no need to apologize, but that's the feeling I got, you know? There's a slight chance I got biased, of course. That's why I felt a kind of disconnect between myself and the drawing. It seemed like some artifact from a distant world. But when I heard that manga was an inspiration when you first began drawing, I was happy. I felt a connection to you. Even though you're an artist, you enjoy some of the same simple pleasures as myself. Doubtful. I'm more of a reader. I'll flip through manga in cafes sometimes. Basketball manga. We all know that that's not a T. I know, just back... Back dunk. It's all but interesting. In the past, I used to read some more Shonen, uh, read more Shonen manga. Ninja, Nurupo, <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, or Full Meal Alchemist. Oh. Rather than dragging it out indefinitely, they ended up ended it on a graceful, d delicate note. それはそうなんですけど。I read those two, like, uh, Konokare. I was really surprised when it got all serious in the middle. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I'm not sure. I don't really pay attention to the publication date. Maybe it's a generation gap thing. Oh, maybe I'm just particularly mature for my age. No, I'm being serious. Anyway, anyways, maybe you could recommend something more decent. Sounds kind of boring. Sounds why does this just remind me of that very CD of I and... Like, it's, it's about a group of characters that play Karta. It's a card game. Uh, okay, okay. I've also watched the newest season of My Hero Academia. Oh my god, I love My Hero Academia. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hmm, if you're pushing it that hard, then I'll have to give it a shot. I read it to you and I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you and I'll read it to you. What is this? At the beginning, I felt a great distance between us. Seems like she'd be a hard girl to approach. But talking to her like this, she comes across as just another ordinary girl. Oh? Is this how it is? Is that how it is? Could it be that I was the one putting up those walls between us? Seems likely, in fact, that's almost certainly the case. That comes as a massive shock. Recently, there's a manga called Shingeki. But 
。これは私もまだ見せてもらってないんです。刺激が強すぎるからどうかなって。私はそういうのも、全然慣れっこなんですけど。Seems like you're really enjoying yourself. <laughs> that, no, it's just that when you're drawing, your face looks a little intimidating. So that's how it is. That's, that's, that's how I saw you. But when you talk about manga or drawing, your demeanor changes entirely. Prior to that, how to put it? I felt the gap between us. Glad we've bridged it, though. I think it's a good policy to be honest about things like that. She's refined. Yet reflective. I think she's been brought up well. Your parents are, were really supportive of your drawing skills, right? I think that's great. In another context,、uh, might, in any other context, I might even be jealous. Compared to that, I quite was about to say something weird. By the time the thought occurred to me, it was already too late. Compared to that, my parents were assholes. Now that I've said it, I wonder how things will go from here. That, well, At the very least, they were selfish. They didn't pay attention to their own son's feelings, even once, not even once. If we start down this route, just where will the conversation lead? They were more concerned about their new boyfriends or new girlfriends, or simply how to make more money. Just what am I trying to accomplish by telling her all this? So, t a r o Hey. Those people have absolutely no business being parents. Nonetheless, they managed. So, Taro! Dad! Hearing Shuri yell at for the first time snaps me right back to reality. But it was already too late. Sorry, I, I didn't mean, mean to say all that. I'm annoyed now and ineptitude. I chose to bury all that inside me, and I, I'd, intended it to, I'd intended to leave it there, but now. I'd come out, it had been, all, it had been exposed. I've been locked away in the deepest reaches of my heart. The ugliest feelings. I'm really sorry. Wave after wave of regret crashes over me, sapping my spirit, robbing my whole body of strength. So, Taro, what are the feelings that I've been feeling? I don't know. But. 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 親は親です。Oh, why are there so many long pauses in this game? <laughs> might say that, but. No,、oh, let, let's just stop talking about this. Now I've done it. In the brightest of moods, I've told the darkest of stories. Next time.、Hi. Next time I'll treat you to a parfait. For now, I'd like you to forget what I just said. どんな嫌な言葉でも、宗太郎のかけらですから。ボルメ。はい。でも、できればもう、親のことを悪くは言ったりしないでください。その人たちがいなければ、宗太郎はいなかったし、私も、宗太郎に会えなかったですから。でもそれはそれとしてパフェ楽しみにしていますね。OK。Thirty minutes later。Sorry, great painter Shiori, I'm at my limit。では今日はこのあたりで。ちょうど下塗りが終わったところですし。That's a relief. I collapse on top the bed in a heap. I feel like my every bone in my body is broken. If I didn't, then my pose would be limp as an octopus or a squid. Yeah, that. I wonder if I'm starting to get used to it. I'm starting to get used to it. I'm starting to get used to it. You're right. I was shocked to hear she, she considered this early. As a child, I couldn't have imagined this sort of life even existed. No, I think I've still got my wits about me. It's not really possible to stay a child forever.
理解しましたはっはあ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Quickly places another canvas over a painting, concealing it. Why? So, no, Kyoa, Hotondo, Stanuri, Dake, Dattano, de Mite, Mo, Amari, Omo, Shirok, Nain, Des. Dakara. Got it. Writing and painting, even in the middle of a mathematic proof. No matter the pursuit, an individual typically likes to sort everything out nice before showing their work to someone else. Well, that's what I've heard anyway. I haven't experienced it myself, but I think I can sympathize with those feelings. As a wish, I'll let you off the hook for now. So, してください。Trudy picks up a clip and uses it to secure it. The other canvas over to her painting, face to face. Thanks to this precaution, no matter what angle I look from, I won't be able to see her painting. You didn't have to go that far for the sake of secrecy. こうすることで。絵の具が乾くまでカンバスを保護できるんです。Really? はい。男が狼なのと同じぐらい普通のことです。I see. There's so many things about painting that I don't understand. As I did the night before, I count the stars for myself, willing myself to,、uh, willing myself to sleep. All the while, I wallow in silent regret, my unspoken words bitter as a curse on my tongue. That do be looking like a naked apron right there. Finally, a day off. There's absolutely nothing scheduled for, the a- for this afternoon. Around here, any free time at all is l- luxury. So, why exactly should I spend it? I should give that some serious thought. Cities are crowded and noisy. Skyscrapers push in from every side. Residential districts teem with people. Those gray vestige vestiges of urban life aren't all that far from me, but right now they seem worlds away. They might as well not exist. Here, those gray ghosts have been traded for something far better. The, gear, the clear, shallow ocean waters stretching forever in, every dire- in, 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 in either direction, forming the line of the horizon. horizon. Or to Sandy Beach, baked, with the tropical, baked by the tropical sun, or res- residential cottages. It cooled by the salty sea breeze. In exchange for my relatively meager labors, I'm allowed to enjoy this dreamlike paradise to my heart's, heart's content. I should hurry up and make the most of this opportunity. There are thousands, wa- thousands of ways I could say it, but they all amount to the same thing. Living here is a priceless opportunity. It's paradise. The gray life I've been sleepwalking through until now can't even begin to compare. That's why people are willing to pay a premium to experience such a, rare, such a rare delight. So, for me to squander the opportunity that's been handed to me on a silver platter would be a tragic waste. But still, what should I do? I've already eaten. Let's see, should I swim at the beach? No, I should probably save my strength, right? If someone were you, you were here right now, they'd drag me outside, kicking and screaming. If I'm overthinking things as simple as this, how much more do I overthink my dealings with others? And more than just of course, you're flat out tedious, aren't you? As I growl, I start walking. It's not like I have any specific destination in mind, it's just that I can't think of anything else to do. Oh? That's she, really. What's she doing? Whatever it is, it seems like she can't hear me. She has a brush in her hand and she's staring at, the, at her canvas. How's it looking, great, paint- great painter, Maki? Sotaro. If you'd asked, I would have come along. Sotaro wa hitsuyo arimasen. Kono e ni wa hitsuyo arimasen kara. She clearly went out of her way to soften her reply just now. I'm glad she's thinking about how she says things. At the very least, I could talk with you, talk while you work. Sotaro. We could talk while you work. Watashi to hanashi o shita in desu ka? Now that she mentions it, I'm a little surprised at that myself. I think so. I want to talk with you. I, I want to talk with you. So, this guy. Mind if I stay? But. 
Sorry, was it blocking your view? So na koto wa nai desu kedo. And I'll join you. Wakarimashita. Tokoro de. Nodo ga kawakimashita. The wind and sun are both pretty strong. So taro no se kamo. So I'm somewhat to blame for the weather. It's not just Kozaki. Now Shiori is doing it too. Alright then, I'll take responsibility. Is he okay or would you rather? I thought that might be the case. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, okay, okay. With a drink in hand, I head to the observation deck. The steps are, oddly enough, very light. Stand beside Judy as she finishes the drink I brought her. As you'd expect, her freshly painted canvas depicts the view from this very observation platform. As impressive as ever. Sorry I don't. I raised the white flag of surrender. That's true, I don't even I don't know much about painting. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I can see why. If you tell an artist who is constantly practicing that their work is impressive, there's always a chance it might not be taken as a compliment. For example, if someone were to compliment me on my skill with chopsticks, I'd be more non plus than happy. In that case, I want to frame it and put it up on a wall. So somewhere, you know? That would probably look out of place in my rundown apartment. Anyway, if that part, uh, that painting were to be put on a wall somewhere, it should probably be at some, in some beautiful art gallery. Sorry for being run down. そう I mean, I don't stand it all that well, to be honest. Maybe it's just a difference between the two. But... I see. That's true, I don't think I'm qualified to hang this painting on my wall after all. It's easy enough to say that I'd value it. But to take possession of it, fully and with the utmost conviction. That's not so easily done. Every day, countless people swear undying love to one another. They almost always give it up soon after, don't they? You know what? Falsely claiming to value something isn't just limited to relationships. Everything in this world can be claimed under false pretenses, paintings included. Preserving a piece of art isn't easy. It takes hard work, lots of time and knowledge of proper care and handling. Right now, I have none of that. I don't have the money, I don't have the time, and honestly, I don't have the heart. Even if it's something I truly care for, I can't just commit to it that easily. It's a bit sad. Well, it's more than sadness. Emptiness, perhaps. But sooner or later, even I... Let's see. What do I like most about it, huh? I ask myself this as I turn my attention to the canvas once again. Could it be the clear blue sky? Not quite. Maybe it's the masterful use of the white space? Nah, not that either. I can claim to like it all I want, but that won't get me any closer to understanding exactly why I like it. It's my intuition, at least. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, I just knew I liked it from the start I saw it. From the moment I saw it. That's the only reason, I think. She already laughs slightly. What's that supposed to mean? I really don't understand myself sometimes. Of mine? 
なんというか素朴で Glad she's smiling when she says this, but still, it's a bit frustrating.、Uh, just, just give me a second. Just, wait, just, just wait. There has to be something else about it I like. There really isn't anything else, is there? Still, I want to find at least one specific thing I like about this painting. Hmm. Something more profound, something even there on the camp canvas. It's only a spot, some odd painting. Jody, look here. This part of the painting is a bit curious, isn't it? Compared to the rest of the canvas, the colors here seem brighter. Rather, there's a strange gap here. <gasps> I see. You did it here, too. As soon as I discover one interesting aspect of the painting, the floodgates open. I begin to see them everywhere. You add something extra here.、Yeah? Were you going to for a particular style over there? Judy? How long has you been like that? With that word, the ever bashfully, easily flustered Judy had grown pale. In fact, she was white as a sheet. What's wrong? Do you feel sick? Did I say something wrong? Your face says otherwise. She covers her tongue tied, responds with a smile, and reaches for a drink. Then. Panic, Judy nearly drops her can. I managed to catch it for,、uh, at the last possible moment. I don't mind. I'll come to.、Uh, I'll help carry your equipment. Don't be like that. Think of it as your reward for showing me something beautiful. As I help Judy gather her things, the wheels of my, of my mind turn. Judy's face earlier. It's almost like she was scared of something. If so, and if so, what? I'm drawing a blank. Well, they should be so frightened of their own painting. But. but. That's true, then how do you explain her reaction? I steal a sidelong glance at Chiuri. I can't read anything in her current expression. Her complexion's almost back to normal. Is she really okay? Ocean winds blow across the the ocean winds blowing across the view pl viewing platform are growing stronger and stronger. They carry the humid scent of summer days and of coming rain. Ora, Kyoa Yoku Awane. On our way back, we bump into Nagisa on the beach. What's wrong? Why are you out here? Soro soro, bin ni haitta tegami ga shima ni nagare tsuku koro ka to omotte. Message in a bottle. That's rather poetic. So, na, kireta kao shi nagara iwa nai de. Tada no sampo. Motto yeba, yu san so undo yo. Well, the explanation snapped me right back to reality. That goes to mystique of the resort. So, mo nara. Sai shu kara sore nari no tayo o shite chou dai. Romantic ga to zakaru wa. Ah, romance. Ima. Furu ite omotta de shou. That's not true. Denied with a smile. I denied with a smile. I'm not quite that socially inept. But as usual, it seems I can't read people. She does seem to be unhappy, though. My first impression of Shiuri was that she was、uh, somewhat prickly. But now I'm completely revised. I've completely revised my opinion of her. Out of everyone on this island, I feel like Nagisa is the most enigmatic. I'm convinced of it. The short time I have here, I feel like I've. Never be able to truly understand Nagisa. I leave this island only ever having had a formal business like relationship with her. But I don't think that's a bad thing. That's how it should be. Well, that's how it has been for me. Well, at least so far, and probably in the future as well. <laughs> you know, one parallel universe where that would, where that would not be the case. So, Taro kun, one advice. Up then, what would that be? Something happened with work. The air grew thick with tension as Nagisa spoke, and I anxiously awaited her next words. Human, then, ne? So, not any tangible, not any. That's all. Uh, I know that. Honestly, I do. Honestly, do. Nezni, watashi no koto o itteru wake ja nai no yo. Dare mo ga so da te yu koto. Nagisa maintains a careful, composed smile as she says this. Yeah. I was a little surprised. It was like she'd seen right through my inner thoughts. So, then, eh? So, Taro-kun. 
それはあなた自身も例外じゃないの。どうか、そのことを忘れないでちょうだい。シューリフ、ミスアンダストッド、all him, him pointing all these things out as criticism, didn't she? She's a riddle wrapped in a mystery. There are moments when I feel like I can depend on her, and there are other moments when she scares the living heck, living heck out of me. So, yeah, interpersonal relationships are tough. My conversation with her only serves to highlight this fact. In short, she treats me as if I'm still a child. And if Nagisa thinks that, she must undoubtedly have a lot of confidence in Shiori. So, advice to you. Nagisa languidly turns her head, directing her gaze at Shiori. Maki san ni mo hitsuyo yo ne? あなたはそろそろこの島を出るべきだわそれもなるべく早くあのでもそれはもうお断りしたはずですだから今改めて提案しているのどうしてもそうしなければダメですか強制するつもりはないわもちろんそんな権利もないだから提案最終的な判断はあなたに委ねるけれど、私はその方がいいと思っている。そうそう。なんだったら、宗太郎くんと同じ便で帰っても構わないし。ねえ。Um, what's that supposed to... How did my name get mixed up in all this? Was she simply saying we might end up on the same ship? Or was she also implying something else? ん私の帰る場所は、ここです。ここが私の家です。そうでもあなた本当は、立派な家があるじゃない。でも、あそこに、家族はいません。でもここには、フューリー・ロックス・ナーキスは、right in the eye。だから私は、ここが家だと思ってるんです。それでも、ここにいては、ダメですか<笑>そんなことは言わないけれどでも本当にそれでいいのかしらはいそれでいいですそれがいいと思います<笑>そうじゃあ面倒な話はここまでごめんなさいねデートの邪魔をして宗太郎くんもファックああ Why am I so bad with this? As of late. No, I don't mind. あの、管理人さん、私、私、本当は。そろそろ空模様も怪しいわね。あなたたちも、早く帰った方がいいわよ。Shuri opens her mouth to say something. As Shuri opens her mouth to say something, Nagisa simply brushes her. Brushes by her and leaves. She just stops short. The blatant snub leaves her speechless. She can only stare at Nagisa's back as she continues to retreat down the beach. She really, she really, really idolizes Nagisa. It's clear that Nagisa cares greatly for Shiwuri as well. Shiwuri and Nagisa, they seem very close. If there's a divide between them, a line that neither one dares cross. Or is Nagisa the one who's drawn that line in the first place? It reminds me of the close relationship between a teacher and a pupil. I wonder if it's something like that. Advice just now、It、could easily have been as seen as meddling. But instead, they danced around one another, choosing their words carefully so that their blades ne might never cross. Because they're so close, their conflicts wound all the more deeply. The hedgehog's dilemma comes to mind. God fucking damn it, not that again. But I don't think that's quite right. Dile <sighs> I've already ruined the Hedgehog's Dilemma back in Dai Dojo Camp. Can we please not talk about this? In any case, I don't think Nag Nagisa meant anything by it. You don't know a lot about the situation. I don't know a lot about the situation, but I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. She knows, of course she knows. Even though they understand one another, they disagree. That's exactly why it must be so frustrating. Relationships between people are never easy. Unable to handle the, the messy nature of,、uh, nature of human relationships, I often tried to minimize my involvement with them. Or rather, I did my best to avoid them altogether. 
And eventually, that became my normal approach to relationships. I then choose this type of life, at least not in the beginning. So what exactly happened? Is my approach truly the best one? Did I did what I needed to make it through the day. That's one way to look at it. I won't make excuses, because I don't think I was wrong. But right now I'm wondering that... I'm hoping that Nagisa and Shiuris can keep... Shiuri can keep their close relationship intact. I'm racking my brains, certain that's something I ought to be do... Certain there's something I ought to be doing. There must be some way I can help, but I'm conflicted. Right now what I believe and what I want are in direct opposition. What do I do now? Which values do I discard? And which do I keep? Is there some move that I can undo this perpet that I can do to undo this perpetual stalemate? Oh no, there is there some move that can undo this perpetual stalemate? I'm retarded then. Shiuri continues staring off to the distance. Like I was already well out of sight. So what Shiuri is profile and my mind begins to wander. Shiuri whispers a single word. Instinctively, I hold my hand to uh, my brow like the rain visor. It's definitely starting to, starting to drizzle. So that's how it is. The sky looking so threatening, I think anyone could have predicted rain. As I joke, I grab a hold of Shiori's small hand. Her slender white fingers are so soft. While it's neatly groomed, her finger finger has a few rough spots. They reflect her diligence. Uh, for those calluses were surely caused by her dedication to her art. You could say they're proof of her having lived. Your finger. <laughs> Mysterious feelings suddenly well up within me. Without knowing why, I gently traced contours of her finger. She's got a cute pinky, and her thumb looks delicate as well. <laughs> Gently, ever so gently, I... Uh, ah. the, sorry! I pulled my hand from hers in a panic. I'm so sorry! What am I doing at a time like this? While we were distracted, the rain had started to pick up a little. Let's run, we'll both get drenched at this rate. I grab hold of her hand once more, even as I wonder whether or not it's appropriate. Uh. Shiori grabs my hand back, giving it a quick squeeze. I can feel Shiori's warmth at the point where our hands meet. She feels vividly... alive. can't quite look her in the eye, so I stare straight ahead as we continue to talk. If I'm going too fast, please let me know. Hi. Let's go. On my signal, we start running towards our cottage. It's good we have a clear destination in mind. Which reminds me... Shiori's normally somewhat shy, but she's not letting go of my hand. This dawns on me as we run, our footfalls kicking up puffs of, puffs of white sand. <sighs> what a relief. We didn't get as wet as I thought we might. <laughs> Silence. All we can hear is the sound of our breath and the fall of the rain. Normally, I might be uncomfortable in a situation like this, but right now I don't feel uncomfortable at all. Oh, right, the lights. Hey, you gotta be sure about this. As we feel along the wall for the lights, which our hands find it simultaneously. Um... Sorry? Yeah. 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 Hmm. Towel. Uh, okay. Once, we're toweled, once we've towel dried our hair, a sense of normalcy begins to return. You sure paint a lot during the day. When she's not painting, she sketches. When she's not sketching, she paints. 
It's almost as if she's in perpetual motion. Must really love it. So this is it. Demo Tamani Yoku Akaranakunanimas. Dry spells. Eo Kak Kotoga Tamaranaku Kurushikunatani. You get bored of it? Or do you, f you feel exhausted? Or maybe you just hit a brick wall? Yoku Akarimasa. ついを上回る情動で描いている時もあるし気力はないのに指先が動く時もあります。もっと it's almost like painting is your reason for living, or is it more like more of like breathing? Oh, I didn't mean. Someone doesn't feel like one. See, you chose me as your model. She doesn't keep painting, she'll die. Even if that's an exaggeration, she better have a good stockpile of motifs to explore. Sotaro wa watashi ni totte, tsugo no ii daizai. Wari to konomi no kao desu shi ne. Really? Hmm. What was that just now? Konomi desu to iimashita. Dou shitan desu ka? No, it's just the first time someone said that to me. Watashi mo... Outside, the rain continues unabated. How much time has passed? An hour? More? Sorry, we should get going. <sighs> you too. I roll my shoulders back and forth, trying to loosen them up. Seems like I'm in a lot of pain again today. Compared to my first session, I'm much more used to it. But the more I used to it I get, the longer I'm expected to hold my pose. In the end, I wind up exhausted regardless. I wonder why I'm so tired, even though today was supposed to be a day off. I think I'll just call it a night. Believe it or not, I'm beat. My exhaustion finally caught up to me. Uh, caught up with me. I guess so we overdid, overdid it today. Thank you, but I couldn't do that.手足を伸ばしてちゃんと寝てほしいし。モデルも頑張ってもらってます。それに The body sinks down into the mattress, the padding molding itself around my contours, easily supporting my weight. No matter what positions I choose to sleep in, I'll be comfortable. Just how much did it cost to buy this? There's a world of difference between this and the one uh, at the ten thousand yen futon I have at home. The quality is on par with what you'd find in a first class hotel. I wouldn't have thought it they'd have such a luxury here. But what really occupies my thoughts right now isn't the quality of the bed. There's a faint fragrance in the air. I forgot to calm down. Muttering this, I close my eyes. But the resulting darkness only serves to heighten my other senses. The cadence of rain mixes with the sounds of running water from the bath. And still, that faint fragrance tickles my nostrils. It smells sweet. Is it body odor or something else? different? A scent that could only belong to a girl lingers uh, on the mattress. It's a soft, pleasant aroma. Smell, I mean. Even though she changes her sheets every day. This should be a new experience for me, yet for some reason I'm having pangs of nostalgia. I wonder what that, why that is. When I close my eyes like this, it's as if I'm sleeping alongside her. Right, now it's even harder to fall asleep. Nonetheless, the rain won't quit. Once more, I open my eyes and look out the window. This rain, it'll rain straight through it tomorrow, won't it? If that happens, what should I do? Will I be Shuri's captive model for the entire day? 
If so, even with a night, night, full night's sleep, I'll be a wreck again by the day by the day's end. But they spent all alone with Shuri, huh? That doesn't sound half bad, not at all. But I have a feeling it's easier said than done. Well, that's fine. Because we're spending the get time together doesn't mean we need to constantly be talking. The bathroom door opens. At that exact moment, something occurs to me. If I'm on the bed, why will Shiwadi sleep? Hmm? The answer comes almost immediately. I feel the movements of a person behind me. Does this mean Shiwadi's getting in the bed too? And, uh... I feel something touching my back. Ah, okay. So, uh... 10.40. 3.10.40. We need to censor this. Could those be... Her breasts? This soft warmth. Is she naked? Also, I just noticed that this, uh, that I didn't set it to completely see through. So, you could, you could, like, if you really squinted, you could still see. But it wasn't, like, really recognizable. So, it's fine. It does be. That I've already read. Uh, it's this soft warmth. Is she naked? Could that be true? Does she sleep in the nude? No, it couldn't be. At least not until tonight. So then, what exactly is going on here? Other confusion overwhelms my curiosity. And there's no way I can move my body right now. I'm stuck like this. I need a plan. What should I do? In the end, given my limit, uh, limited knowledge on the situation, I went with the most pensive solution. Passive solution. I played possum! I pretended to be asleep! By the way, the phrase to play possum was inspired by th that animal's cowardly tendencies to feign death when threatened. There's no reason to explain that. Can't think of a better way to describe my current situation. At this rate, my heat head is sure to overheat. I wouldn't be at all surprised if I blacked out. Right now, the only thing separating me and her is the thin cloth of this bed sheet. With each intake of breath, I can feel her chest swelling against my back, warming me with her body heat. So, this is how she really feels. This is she really is warmth. This is Shiori's firm flesh. This is Shiori's thigh. This is Shiori's sigh. Above all, this is Shiori's nakedness. Searching blood aroused by, by my, by my heart, heart's alarm bell coursed through my body in a violent rush. Left drained by this retreat, my face turns white as chalk. Empty your mind. I'll think about it. I'll think about anything. And if I could manage that, I can't really keep from moving. I would take immense self-discipline. I've been told I'm a paragon of patience. I ought to take inspiration from such praise. And right now I feel like that very same praise is mocking me. Judith's <laughs> fingers suddenly start groping between my legs. Help! <laughs> and... I suppose it might... Hold on. felt like she said set there or something, but she didn't. I suppose it might be possible to ignore this, but my penis decided to react quite firmly to her fumblings. Fuck! Uh, so this is sexy, so we'll be cutting it off here. See you afterwards. So, uh, like, 40 or 5, I suppose, so. 3, 13, 45. Okay, back here just for a second. They decided to censor cock. Which is a weird, like, it's, it's, it's a very weird, uh, like, thing to censor when I can currently see two pairs of tits and a pixelated penis and vagina. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, back to the skipping. Okay, the sex scene seems to be over. She didn't notice that he was awake, so she did this knowingly. 
He accidentally came all over his fucking arm in the CG, which was kind of weird. And then they started fucking. They have not yet said a single word of confession. Wonder if how that's gonna play out. I'm actually kind of curious. To have a talk has passed. Or maybe I just have no strength left in me to speak. It might be vulgar, but all I want right now is to feel flesh rubbing as warm flesh inside. Oh, goodbye, God. In other words, I've already become an animal. And as such, I'm driven to slake my thirst for carnal pleasure. Is this my true nature? A small wave of disappointment I'd felt is quickly swept away by a tsunami of desire. It carries my qualms far out to sea. Can't stop. I couldn't even if I wanted to. It's not raining anymore. They're not going to be ready for work. By God. Justin didn't fall asleep last night. I don't really recall. All I remember is that we had uh, our way with one another until sleep or exhaustion overtook us. At the end, however, the rain finally stopped and the world began to brighten. That's the one thing I knew for sure. The noise wakes me up from my slumber. See, she would be already dressed in her uniform. Good morning. Woke well, up earlier than me. Floppy. Ah, that's right, last night. That's right. It bet it was. It's my fault that we, uh... But even still... It's not like it was a crime or anything. What? <laughs> not even if you, I throw in a sinister laugh. Still not a crime. Um, yesterday was, you know, this is, uh, if you're free today, um... You said that earlier as well. Uh, should I say the same thing? I mean, you kept going all night long. Right, but even so, I want to say the words. Uh, thank you very much. Why well, we're talking to each other right now, it's all a bit... What am I doing? I'm a, I'm a direct participant in this. I can't just talk about it like it's someone else's problem. And anyway, what sort of expression should one wear while making small talk the morning after? No clue, I got serious, serious periods after all. Uh... Nothing, just a quick bout of self-loathing. As she asked me this, I recall how I took leave of my senses last night. I crossed all sorts of lines, there's no doubt about that. But that's probably not what she really means. Of course, I don't have any regrets. I knew full well what I was doing, but... I'm a little concerned about myself, so... So if I, by chance, a problem arises between us, I'm sure I'll be the cause of it. I don't have any problems with you, Shuri. She would be far from it. It's just that I feel guilty. Maybe guilt isn't the right word to use in this situation. It's just, um... I can't quite put my feelings into words. Sure, I sure I had a good time, but that's not the problem! Judy had certainly presented me with a uh, sumptuous spread last night, but it's not that's not what I'm trying to say. Judy, are you okay with me having been here first? I... If she says it so directly, I should really be the one saying that to you and not the other way around. I should be the one telling you that I'm happy. Nothing would make me happier. This time around, the two of us have joint ownership over these feelings. That's what I want to think. That's what I want to believe. Before I realized that I'd fallen hard for her. I like you. I really like you. I love you. Sorry. I don't even know anymore. 
Getting close to people like this. Broken communication skills trip me up every time. Really, what have I been doing up until now? Um, beauty. Uh, beauty. I, uh... それに話は後にしましょう。私もう行かないとなんです。管理人さんにお仕事頼まれてるので。Up, uh, that's why I have uniform on. What time is it? Crap. Checking the alarm clock. I'm shocked to see how much I've overslept. I've got to get to work too. Sotaro,もシャワー浴びた方がいい。He just looks down at himself. Oh my God, it's all white. What the fuck did we do last night? <laughs> but look at the time! That's probably a result of less, that last night's festivities. So, sorry for sticking up the place! <laughs> okay! I, I see it correctly now. For a second, it thought like it was just a position, but it just like slanted. <laughs> it looked really odd for like a fraction of a second, and then I saw what the fuck it was going for, and now it looks normal. But I was still very surprised for a second. With that, she really leaves the room. It's as if that side of her really hasn't changed much, has it? Or am I just overthinking things again? A shower. I forgot to take a shower. Relationship has changed drastically overnight. But before I can worry about that, I need to worry about work. Uh, the moment I stand up from bed, I groan involuntarily. My hips! My legs! They feel like lead! <sighs> I better now. First bathroom. I'm, I'm finished when I'm, I finished in the bathroom. I give myself a quick sniff. Hmm. Well, I can't smell anything but body soap. I suppose that's good enough for now, right? Once I finish getting ready, I'll head over to get uh, today's schedule from Nagisa. Suddenly, in the corner of the room, I spy some leaning against the easel. So, I'm a little curious as to what's on that canvas. Just how far has the painting progressed? The painting. How do I think about it? The only time she's ever let me see it was let me see it was partway through the first day. I wonder what it looks like now on the canvas. Well, I wonder what it, I look like on the, that canvas now. To me, as seen through Shiori's eyes, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. I don't have mu much time, though. I'll just take a quick... Don't. Don't take a quick peek. I don't even know why I said that out loud. There's no one here to explain myself to. I unfastened the clip, then removed the canvas. The moment I saw what had been painted there, the fright runs through my entire body. Why, uh, you ask? Because what was in the cor center of the canvas? Or what wasn't. I what should have been. I had been. It was nothing. What is this? It's... I barely touched the painting with my fingers and pulled it back in a panic. Draft draft lost like this. My likeness had been particularly rendered back then. So just what... When did the canvas turn into this? The last time I remember she would be working on it was... Probably last night, I think. During that time, when that painting got turned into what I see before me. And why? I mean, that Yuri's been lying to me all this time. But, for what reason? Why would Yuri erase my likeness? I don't know, the simplest way to say it is... This person I thought I'd come close to understanding. She's left me perplexed once again. Something tells me that she basically erased it again because she wants to keep drawing him. Basically using it as an excuse, so he stays with her. That in itself is frightening, but at the same token, I feel like it's a part of Shiori that's equally frightening. <laughs> as I walked through the administration building, I saw Nagisa waiting for me outside. Sorry I'm late today. I've been waiting out, you've, and you've been waiting out here on such a hot day. <laughs> I'm really am sorry. 
All I could do is bow down and apology. My head is so low, in fact, that it must be at, at a perfect right angle to my body. Euclid would be proud. <laughs> そういう実直さもあなたの長所だと思うからきっとあの子たちもそういうところに惹かれたのかしらねえこっちの話よとにかくくれぐれも無理はしないでねあんなこと言ってるねえのところクマになってるうっ気づいてるセプティフインディエン
She'd gone so far as to say that even though she was single, she was surrounded by children. At the time, I thought she was being a little mean, but when Nagisa says something like that, she's not out, of, out to hurt it, so, anyone. <sighs> even when she gives Shiri advice, she means well, albeit in her own way. I don't know. I really don't know, but... but I'm really worried about our Nagisa's reasons for having that conversation. I'm still having trouble putting all the pieces together. If understanding that is truly the difference between an adult and a child, then I might very well still be a child. <laughs> but that's not the real quest, the real problem. The time when we could indulge in being children, when we could use that as, as an excuse, is long past. That's why right now, I can't help but feel a growing sense of panic and frustration. But I know. Am I? No hurry. Probably that I'm rushing headlong into adulthood. That I've had to grow up. I want that. I'm only just coming to terms with the type of person I really am. It's an uncomfortable realization. Sotaro. What's worse, this realization is a separate problem from the one I'm currently brooding over. And now that I've re recognized myself for who I am, I can embrace and become the best possible version of that person. I'd like to thank everyone, Nagisa, and of course, you too. Yeah, Nagisa's blunt advice was a bit of pill for me to swallow. But that bitterness is ultimately a sign that it's working. I thought this job was simply, would simply involve long hours and great pay. But here on this island, I've grappled and come to terms with a lot of things. And more, more than anything, I'm glad I was able to meet you, Shiori. Sotaro, what did you I want to take Shiori right here and now. The urge is overwhelming. <laughs> Shiori retreats, backing into a corner. Shiori is nowhere else to run. I move to take hold of her. I open my arms, but... <laughs> that instant, I suddenly remember the painting over... That the painted over a portrait I had seen this morning. I feel my head is poised to pluck a poisonous apple. But I'm okay with that. And now, more than anything, I want to fear Shiori. Shiori? Wait <laughs> お願いですから、そうたろ。え、だ。仕事。あと少しだから。だから。シスとホーニー。だ、オッケー、イライトオフコース。What For some reason, I feel like I was being greedy just now. That... <laughs> we're finally done. Next up is, uh, in respect to Shiori's wish, I'd held off until we were done cleaning. So I turned my head and... From out of nowhere, two strawberry perf parfaits had appeared, each piled high in a large dessert glass. What's this? Sanji no yatsu? I see. But, I mean, when did you find the time to make this? For that matter, just where the ingre did the had the ingredients come from? The cooler? The facilities on this island, including this very cafe, aren't ready for day-to-day -day operations. The plumbing and wiring might be completed, but it w I wouldn't expect there to be perishables. The way they appeared out of, out of nowhere. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> Shiori flashes an evil grin. A favor? That's quite the unusual hobby Vataru has there. I come to think of it, maybe it's not as so unusual after all. So when you asked for this favor, what exactly did you did you say? She should really learn to choose her words more carefully. Thankfully, it seems the correct message came across. So after that, he's uh, after you said that he made you this. Yeah. 
、こう言ったんです。チーフは、パティシエとしても一流で、その手は、イチゴに赤いスピネルの輝きを与える。そんな噂を聞きました。それは本当ですかと。Response, he asked, will you eat? I'd. That, that, that's not Sotro's line. もちろん。熱蔵かつ即興です。だけど、チーフは、とても満足そうに微笑んで、奇跡を見せてあげよう。宝石は出来上がり次第、君の従者に持たせるから、と。The jewels would be the perfect, right? And the servant,、uh... That would be me. Ah, I see. So that's, what I, that's what I bought brought in the cooler. Hi. Kono Ichigo Parfait des. Last, we've unraveled the mystery of the parfaits. Understand, but Wataru is quite considerate. Could have just chosen to have us eat these in the dining room. We didn't need to be so accommodating. If we'd eat, eaten it there, we'd have AC and it'd be easier to clean up too. That's my informal、uh, analysis of the situation anyway. <laughs> 私がそうしてほしいとお願いをしたからなんです。まだ、ちゃんとしたデートをしたこと、一度もなかった気がするから、二人で、二人だけで、一緒に。だ<笑>。As soon as I grasp her intent, I see just how oblivious I've been. Sorry, I hadn't realized your feelings. There are a lot of things that I need to think about. The personal relationships, first and foremost. Coming to this island has made me realize just how much I want to improve myself. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to protect, I really would, but we're still on the clock. でも、さっきは仕事中に私のことを。That was the recklessness of youth or something, I'm sorry. <笑>安心してください。管理人さんの許可はもらってます。仕事が終わった後は、好きにしていいって。だから、いただきます。<笑><笑> Okay, thanks for the snack. Man, this takes the cake. My dedication、uh, utterly pales in, in comparison to Shuri's.、Um. I dig in immediately. Please allow me. Hi. Nagi, sir.、So. Had you known the contents of that cooler, it probably would have blown her mind. She's a really cunning person. I'm grateful for, that parfait, for the parfait, but. t h o s e delicious. The strawberries really do sound like jewels.、Um. <laughs> Shuri radiates happiness as she spoons fresh cream into her mouth. Thanks to Vataru, I've gone to see something wonderful. Soon, my lady, how does it taste? Even if she doesn't say a word, I can see the answer on her face. I'm tired! 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 Wait, so it, but since it's also really cold, it works. Fresh cream is the best. I've never eaten something like this before. The cream just melts in my mouth. It's like. Yeah, dream, huh? Even in my dreams, this would be an unfamiliar sight. Now I could have imagined I'd be spending time with someone like this. But that feels so fulfilled. I'm on cloud nine. I keep spooning the parfait into my mouth as if in a trance. It's sweet. It's sweet. So sweet. It's nothing but sweet, but the occasional hint of fruit. So t a r o Eh? Suddenly, Shuri's face approaches mine. But her finger softly touches my cheek. She licks the cream from her finger with her dainty, dexterous tongue. I see. She sucks her finger clean with her lovely pink lips. Unbelievably hot. Shiri, you have some on your cheek too. <gasps> Imitating Shiri, I stroke her cheek with my finger. That、yeah, certainly is delicious. <laughs> 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 
難しいです。Even though you just did the same thing to me. それはそうですね。<笑>そうですけど。Kitty blushes all the way to the tips of her ears. <laughs> Pretty much how I felt a second ago. But I can't say that. That's way too saccharine for my tastes. Now that I think about it, yesterday I proceeded in similar fashion. She really invites me and I come along. Huh. The air ripples and simmers in the summer heat. The heat warps my reasoning as well. I'll eat it. I'll eat more of it. More and more. Sautaro wa kuishin bo shogun desu ne. Uh, I thrust my spoon into an empty glass. What on earth am I doing? <laughs> I didn't even finish. Yujaro <laughs> looked done. I really wasn't conscious on my part. I've Pretty stuffed myself. Yeah, got to see your face when you're happy. So, it was also satisfying, of course. No! How was she checked that exactly? I was about to ask her that, but in the blink of an eye, she already had vanished. Uh. Yep, she's on his dick! Good to know that this is the sex scene soundtrack for this game. She has dived under the table and is currently just nose to tip. See you after the sex scene. Okay, she's done sucking his dick. She's there. I guess so. Ara, Igai to Hayaku Kita no ne. Unexpectedly early? I guess that is as if she'd been expecting my arrival. I flinched for a second. What are you looking at, Nagisa? Mira, you? Nante kotae tara. Kono natsu joe sarere yona. Steki na story ni naru kasira. If it. Really possible to see the future, then I'd like to know tomorrow's stock prices. Kabude i patsu? Kenjitsu ga uri nano ka to omotte da kedo. It's true that on my own I'd fail miserably, but I'll figure out a sensible way to go about it. Miken ni yotta shiwa no wari ni wa, mada skoshi yoyu ga aru no ne. Sore de? Yoken wa nani? What is your advice about Shiori? Sodan? Yes. Gutai teki ni wa? Want to know more about? Look at the story. Beautiful sign. If I were her father's wife, I'd be able to read the story. I don't want to hurt her feelings. 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 そうそう。話をするにあたって、一つだけ条件があるの。話の展開にもよるけれど、これから私が話す内容には、一部守秘義務が課せられているの。何せ、大切な従業員の個人情報だから。That you mean I shouldn't share the contents of this conversation with anyone else, right? Yeah. Yeah. What does she mean? And no matter what I say, you're obligated not to answer. それは少し違う。単にその義務が課せられているのは私だけ。宗太郎くんにはこの違いがわかるかしら。Ah, from here on out, our discussion is most certainly a conspiratorial conversation. One which may or may not include unofficial answers. It's also worth keeping in mind that Nagisa is our superior. In this modern day, great care is required when dealing with someone's private information. Yet she's willing to speak about these delicate matters with me to a certain extent. In other words, she's bearing all the risk right now. 
the same time, it's a show of not gives us trust and faith in me. Um, are you sure about this? Really? Think all this for my sake? About, about what? Is the state of your bedroom con covered by the confidentiality agreement? So I'm guessing Maki drew that then. Now it makes sense, actually. Uh, yeah, um, it concerns Shiri's latest painting. It's a little off. Even though she painted it with me as her model before I... Before I knew it, I disappeared from the cam from the canvas. It's as if she had erased my very existence. Yet in her rough draft, she had drawn me properly. So. I don't remember doing anything to make her that mad. So why would she? Do? Yes. What do you think, Nagisa? Do I mean, do you think that Judy hates me? I don't I don't think she does. After all, she wouldn't have done these sorts of, those sorts of things with the person she hates. <laughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> oh, no, no, that was... Crap, I just dug my own grave. Nice, I guess. Oops, fuck. I rarely even consider, consider such things. So, ne?意識はしていないのかもしれない。だって、あなたのその意識は、すでに無意識の領域にまで浸透しているのだから。ああ、いけない。今はマキさんの話よね。わけにたみなぎさん。少なくとも長い付き合いではあるわね。もう10年近くよ
that a story she'd be willing to share with me. Oh, Kashira. Demo, so they will handle Surebeki or Maki san de show? Chiga Kashira. Makes sense, of course, but doesn't really. So no tedo, Chucho Stadi Yosha. Totemo Kanojo no Kota, Makasera and I. Skunoktomo. Atashiwa so motte irukeredo. The face of my bewilderment, Nagi said, is trying to provoke me. <laughs> She's testing my resolve. In that case, it'd be best to show my true metal. But prior to that, I do have one small concern. I understand that she really deeply respects you, but trusting me with her, not trusting me, is I unlike a parent. My words catch Nagisa off guard. After a moment's surprise, she responds. <laughs> She answers the situation and directly involved. Right now, the only person I can depend on when it comes to Shiori is Nagisa. Yeah, I have no other choice. I nod my head in agreement. But I have to Nagisa points to a portrait on the wall. Could this, could this be a painting of you, Nagisa? That's true. Compare it. I compare it again to the real thing. It looks longer, younger than you. Not just a little younger, a lot younger. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I was still a kid. Let's see, I like the question of which one of you is more attractive for another time. Let's see, I like the question of which one of uh, her eyes are blue. I do. It seems like she really can't accurately portray age. But I'm perfectly honest, I don't know. It's not entirely out of the question. Clear that Chiyori adores Nagisa. But as a counter argument, what that say about the state of our relationship? That's frustrating to admit, but. A man's envy is an ugly thing. But if your reason for not painting me were that simple, I'd be relieved. Uh, Nagisa sighs deeply. I think she means she's not exactly attracted to her father. Nagisa? モチベーションを保てるものかしら。そりゃ仕事なら歯を食いしばって苦手なものを書くことがあるかもしれないけれど。マキさんの経済状況からして彼女にはそれをする理由がない。例えば。Well, まさにそれが目的でしょうね。I Oh, yeah, but I'm not confident in my reasoning yet. 
あなたたちの関係の進展に気づいたのは、宗太郎くんの態度が理由じゃなくて、今朝、マキさんに会った瞬間なのよ。Really? ええ。もちろんそうなるだろうとは、最初から思っていたけれど。Why? <笑>本当に気づいてなかったの宗太郎くんがここに来てから、マキさんはずっとあなたのこと、見ていたじゃない。That's... That's not true, is it? I mean, at first she simply helped me out with Kozaki. So, I was like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going ふわふわでぽやぽやした見た目。私とは真逆のタイプ。だけど、たまにエッジの効いたことを言う。絵が上手くて、少し変わったお嬢さん。そのお嬢さんが、気まぐれであなたのことをモデルに選んだ。<笑>あんな絵を見た後だものね。そんな風に考えてしまう気持ちも、わからなくはないけれど。でも彼女だって、普通の女の子なのよ。So, I'm lift up to Shiori's expectations. She finished her painting, well, in my case. 逆に、私の絵を一度完成させたことで、かたくなになっているのかもしれないわね。何にせよ、彼女の傷は癒えつつある。私はそう確信している。だから、彼女はもう、この島を出て生活するべきなのよ。なのに、そんな状態のまま、この島で2年が過ぎた。このままだと最悪、彼女はこの島を出られないまま終わってしまう。そうでなくても、ずっとあのままということになりかねない。Um, you just mentioned that she would be better off leaving the silent. Is, but, is that really necessary? どういう意味 ?You're here after all, along with everyone else. Think of it that, major, that way, it's a wonderful place to be, isn't it? It'd be okay if Shiori wasn't forced to leave, right? Now, I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to ask you. That's a different matter. So, I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to ask you. So, I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to ask you. So, I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to ask you. What do you mean by that? 言葉のままの意味よずっと変わらないものなんてどこにもないんだから Nagisa looks away from me for a, for a moment Something gonna happen to the silent <笑>あなたには関係のないことよどの道あなたはもうすぐここを去るんだから But... お給金はちゃんと払うわ心配しないで、I mean. とにかく今はそれよりもマキさんのことでしょあなたは知らないでしょうけど彼女の絵にはもう値段がついてるのこれがどんなにすごいことかわかるこんなところで才能を腐らせてる場合じゃない<笑><笑> Even if she were required to leave the island at some point, if it's not what Shiori wants, then I don't think it's right to make her. Furthermore, Shiori, Shiori is not exactly a starving artist, or, you know? In that case, in that case, whether or not her painting sells as a material, right? I've endured po poverty firsthand and survived. I know a thing or two about living. For that reason, I killed off the old me and became the person I am today. I chose that path myself. I had the freedom to remain as I was forever. But I have really had have chosen cha to change. There's freedom here. There's freedom enough to live. That's why I truly believe Shiori shouldn't be made to choose from untenable options. So, if you don't want to be a person, you don't want to be a person. It's not forever, you know. Besides, 
落下枝に帰らず波経を再び照らさず失った後に取り戻せないものもある本当にそれでいいの自分自身が納得できるの could be entirely okay with it, but for a second I see the faces of my parents. Anyway, I hate this whole thing, I really do. I don't want to put my interests ahead of hers. Putting my interests first is the type of adult I'd prefer not to become. <sighs> a case study in bad, bad parenting. ごめんなさいね。別にきれいごとを言うつもりじゃないの。ただ、物事には必ずと言っていいほど、政府の両側面がある。<笑>あなたはそれを見つめるべきだわ。目をそらさずにね。そしてそれは、マキさんの現状にも同じことが言える。ヒューリー彼女の感じている恐れ。その正体はね。人一倍強い、好奇心。その裏返しなのよ。まさか気づかなかった、とは言わないでしょうね。美的感覚の追求。モチーフに対する真摯な姿勢。そして、異性に対する強い興味。それらはどれも、好奇心から来るものよ。I must have my arm is spasming. Seems to have stopped. As she speaks, some things begin to close. But I doubt she would ever admit it. So, ne? Demo, what are you? I just that the Zutta no co me take tan dakara. Dakara, ne? So, Taro, k u I ask God what would be kind of funny if the way of him just confessing to the fact that he looked at the painting is literally just walking over to the window, opening it up, just walking back over to Shiori, just go ahead, throw me out. What? You said you'd throw me out. When did I say that? You said you'd throw me out of Axe if I looked at the painting. Oh. I get it now. <laughs> Maki san ga. この広い海原の向こうへ漕ぎ出すための貝になってほしいの別にあなた自身が船になってマキさんをどこかに導く必要はないわただあの子のそばにいてくれるだけでいいきっとそれだけでマキさんあの子は I'm sorry! I keep doing this! マキさん I think Shiori would be happy to know someone cares about her this much. At this point, I realize something. It's clear that Shiori trusts Nagisa as well. Nara! But in that case, Nagisa, why don't you help Shiori yourself? If you know so much about Shiori, if you've taught me this much about her, then. If any measures, you're qualified to take the role of parent, keeping a watchful eye over her. You'd be able to walk alongside Shiori. That's true, isn't it? In that case, there's no need to entrust us to someone like me. You should play the part. It'd be less risky. That is, as long as you have the courage to walk that path, Nagisa. That's why I don't have any courage. Fuck. That's. You've been watching Shiori for a long time now, haven't you? So. That's why I'm going to be able to do that. あなたは私とは違う。最初から、誰かの代わりを演じていた私とは。だから、お願い。あなたを頼らないかしら。彼女をこの狭い島から。
過去から連れ出してみせて As I leave the administration building, I can see that the day has given way to darkest night. With luck, I'd hoped that a ready answer would present itself. I'd visit Nagisa today with that hope in mind. Perhaps I was foolishly optimistic. Nagisa laid out the issue fairly simply, didn't she? <laughs> nah, that's not exactly true. Nagisa knows the situation isn't simple at all. That's why she entrusted me with Shiori. But, I can't really do it. On this island, I can finally obtain something I've longed for. Something that's always been just out of my reach. An ordinary life, room to breathe. But if I leave this, this island, I'm straight back to the grindstone. If I don't have the financial means, I won't be able to get ahead in life. Right now, I'm still just a student who's living hand to mouth. What can someone like me possibly do? Damn. Frustrating powerless powerlessness that is. What in the world should I do? Why hello there. Today's pass and finally the time comes when we only have one week left on the island. Oh my does it. Batru sets everyone's ramen down on the table. It's Stone Cold's ramen, of course. Yep. Full disclosure, I made a special request to Wataru. Sotaro, Well, regardless, Wataru was the one who made it. And <laughs> Thank you, Sotaro. It's kind of funny that she says that, right? Like, the day after I watched the new, like, latest episode of uh, Tony Gaku Kawaii, where uh, NASA is just fretting over getting an engagement ring, and apparent, and apparently that it's said that it would co usually costs like three times your month monthly uh, salary. Tonkatsu. Ma, interesting <laughs> I ship it. A moment later, they embrace. They've really got a close relationship, these two. <laughs> ただ。まあね。ただ… ジェンブを同時に茹で上げるのはそれなりに骨だったよ。あ、ジェンドはそれは金魚秘密かな。わあ。湯気からすごくいい匂いがします。でもこの香り何でしょう。It's <笑> ラーメンかなまさか。いや、ごめんとだよ、リホ君。その茶臭は紅茶で煮たものなのさ。紅茶で煮ると臭みも抜けるし、濃厚な脂身もさっぱりと食べられるんだ。じゃあ、これ甘
特別な配合でみんな食べましょう<笑>はいなげすよよーっ !It's just gonna keep talking so let's just eat! ガッコーいただきまーすいただきます出来たてが最も良好なコンディションだからねその選択は間違いじゃないほんとだうまいぞこれそうだろう。テスクテスクそうだろうあこれ好きかもそう言ってくれると思ったよお肉がほぐれてとろけていきます僕の圧力鍋が火を吹いたからねしかも省エネさ The pressure cooker spots fire. That's probably a bad thing. Like I said,、uh, what does it got to be three times more energetic than usual, right? So? It's more on the kanji, you know? Is it? Ma, sin menu no toki wa an na mono yo. Are demo hitonami, biorism wa ar mi tai. I see, but um. Don don tabete, don don kae dama s t a m a Ha 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 ha. He's sort of talking like a prince right now. Well, if it makes him happy, the more, the more power to him. We're just thrilled to be eating something so delicious. Ch なみに、ゆで加減を選べるのも、豚骨ラーメンの醍醐味でね。どんな風に頼めばいいんでしょうか。粉落としだとか、針金とか、バリカタだとか、言い方はいろいろあるけどな。なんだか独特な響きですね。まあ、要は硬さの尺度なんだけどさ。本場だと、硬ければ硬いだけつうみたいな風潮もあって。みんながそうとは限らないけどね。わからなかったら、大雑把に固めか柔らかめって頼めばいいんだ。この際、先にみんなの好みを聞いておこう。粉落としちなみに、一番硬いのだぞ。さすがは師匠。カチカチのっていいですよね。硬いのが美味しいです。私も硬い方が好きですわ。あの、固めの方が、Phrasing. Phrasing. Oh, eh, to, what does she do? Cut I know, could I say? Ara, ara, me not cut I know, must kin on eh. Demo, what does she more cut I know, Iva? Come down, so throw that she's talking about ramen here. There's nothing erotic about this topic. So that I can, what? I'd like mine a little less firm. Nani? 男らしくないぞ、宗太郎。そうだ、そうだで、宗太郎くん、どうしたのもしかして調子、悪いんですの ?Oh no, I've just have a, I just have a slightly upset stomach today. あ、あの、お薬出しましょうか ?Thank you, but there's no need. 宗太郎、早く元気になってくださいね。I'll be fine. I'm just being extra cautious. まあ、誰にだって、調子が悪い時ぐらいあるわよ。あの、い,いえ、なんでもないです。This conversation is still only about ramen. ちなみに、本当言うと、僕自身は太い方が好きなんだよね。ダックあ。This is about our men noodles, not men's noodles. Uh. So, Taro? Yapari, Joshiga, what do you know? Ah! No, it's not like that! Just fish us right now. So, Taro, so, Taro, so, Taro! So, Taro? God fucking damn it. And thus, the inaugural meeting of the Tonkotsu Ramen Club came to a close with everyone in high spirits. <laughs> yep, there we go. It's another beautiful day on the island. If I were to auction off my daily life as it stands right now, I'd probably, f it'd probably fetch a hefty price. Yeah, like that's even possible. The extraordinary life and experience every day ultimately becomes ordinary again. Even in the most wondrous of environments, I can feel the emptiness of every day creeping in. Could the problem be that I'm getting used to it? That's not my only problem. The whole security situation is still very uncertain. Everything's up in the air right now. The resulting anxiety gnaws away at me and makes it impossible to relax. The cause is clear. 
Yet, as if trying not to disturb the hornet's nest, I spent the day exactly as I would any other day. When the time comes, do I retreat, or do I charge into the breach? Even though I already know the, my feelings on the matter, I don't have the courage. Honestly, I'm a lost cause. Even so, I don't want it to end like this. Ah, Wataru. Yeah. I stumbled across Wataru in the garden at the administration building. Mm -hmm. Is it really how it, is that really how I look? Ah, yeah. Kimi no kaun ga warui to yu imi janai yo. Mushiro, boku to hikaku sae shi nakereba, sore nari ni ii sen ittteru ka mo shirenai. Aku made mo sore nari ni da kedo ne. The response seriously or brush him off, but brush it off is sarcasm. Otherwise, I don't think he meant any offense. In fact, he seems completely sincere. In that sense, this guy might be a kindred spirit to Shiori, perhaps even Kozaki. So, what are you and your smiling face doing in a place like this? Now that I take a good look, I can see there's an ample supply of water at Wataru's feet. It's also bliss, uh, it'll also blister your beautiful skin, you know? It's <laughs> Aren't you afraid of blemishes? No, I don't think I am. But I figured you'd be the type to pay particular attention to such things. One misstep and you'll be overshadowed by the girls here. That's right. What the fuck is this conversation? Once again, a naturally superior attitude. まあ... Um, this might be a little rude, but can I say something? When we first met, you struck me as a really weird, weird person. You're far weirder than I could have ever imagined! On hearing this, Watru giggles, then laughs out loud. Tada. <laughs> Like, but, like, what? When I first met you, you felt kind of like I thought you were kind of strange. Oh, what about now? You're a fucking nutcase! <laughs> to be honest, I envy your confidence. Uh, well, yeah. Nara,まずは下を向かないことだね。ここのところの君は。I wasn't even aware of it. But if he's saying it, then I have a feeling it's true. You're really observant. This whole time I've been under the fall false impression that you had no interest in anyone other than yourself. Yeah, so no僕は そういったもろもろの条件を考慮した上で僕のメニューは完成を迎えるのさこの感覚そうたろう君にも分かるかなそうたろう君にも分かるかな それは仕方のないことさ。You're not angry? そりゃ、中には怒る人もいるだろうけどね。僕の場合は慣れっこだよ。それに言ったろ。そういうのは仕方がない。言い換えれば当たり前のことさ。だって、他人の価値を決めるのは究極自分以外にいないからね。その点で
have value? Oh, yeah. Kimi ko so okora nai no kai? Uh, no, not particularly. Should I be? For a moment, I wonder if I need to update my definition of the word value. For whatever reason, Wataru seems to think it might make me angry. Kimi mo boku to onaji kyochi ni. Iya. Kimi to yu yatsu wa tondemo naku jiko hyoka ga hiku inda ne. Da kara koso, nani o iware temo, son nani heizen to shite irare るんだ That's why.、Mm? That's the reason. That's why there's nothing I can do. I don't have money and I don't have free time. And even now, if I let my guard down for an instant, I'm consumed by hatred from my parents. Just one person. I can't even support the weight of just one person. Do I even have any value to that person? I don't have the confidence. Or rather, I can't have the confidence. My thoughts spill out, like, out of me like bile. But as soon as I'm done talking, I feel like punching myself in the face. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boku mo Sotaro kun o skoshi mi ayamatte ita rashi. That's right, there's no way I could. Ore nante. Sono kotoba sono mono ga amae da yo ne. Each word is a razor that slices straight into my heart. I, uh. Stunned speechless, I begin to grasp what it is meaning. It's shameful. So great is my embarrassment, it's hard to look Wataru in the eye. Uh, sorry, uh, listen to me complaining about stupid nonsense. Please for forget we ever spoke. <laughs> As I rush past him in a desperate attempt to flee, Wataru leaves me with some parting words. <laughs> そのことがちょっと意外だっただけさほら君ってさ最初から何かを達観したような雰囲気まとってたから俺はもう世間に何も期待していないんだそんな目をしていたように見えたんだよねでも意外と人間らしいんだね少し安心したよもっともそれが分かったところで君がここで暮らす時間はあとわずかださて僕は今後この新しく発見した君のフレーバーをどうメニューに生かそうかなんてねさすがにそれは冗談だけどカレッピー are you trying to cheer me up? んまあね I would you worry about someone like me? 言ったろ僕は一流のシェフだから。Be serious, please. Hatter looks a little hurt, but at the same time happy. It gives a ghost of a smile. 君を慰める僕というのも、なかなか絵になると思うから。そういう理由じゃダメかい That was your true intention, then. 孫うことなき本心さ。It's gotta be a lie. That was my first reaction, but I don't know why I thought that. Do you can eh? Hmm. Kyo a tokbet ni boku no tetsnaku o osieta ge yo. Ee kai? Jibun ga so da to o mou nara. So re ga shinjitsu ni naru nda yo. Ningen nante son na mono sa. Ma. Boku no bai wa minna to chigatte. Sko si bakri tokbet na son zai da ke to. Hmm. Why do I put so much empath em emphasis on that last part? That'd be typical Vatru, him being a narcissist and all.、Hmm. It seems like he's realized his blunder. Even though he's、uh, usually brimming with confidence, at this moment he looks slightly ill of ease. Piece of advice? No. 自信をつけるためのアドバイスさ。今より美しくあろうと思うなら、何よりもまず、美しくありたいと強く願うことだ。いわゆる、美意識というやつだね。So, idealism? そうだね。自信というものはそもそも心の問題だから。I was on for something a little more concrete. 
あ、あの、シェイクアップコンフィデンス。その正体は何だい金子のは。それとも学歴や仕事かなあ、あの、ナンバーオブザトモストライクリ。エブリシンアフチーフ。ナシンズムサフィシェント。ナシンサティスファイ
As Vatra continues to water his children, I feel sympathy for him welling up inside me. In his own way, Vatra has worries. <laughs> Although in this case, it does seem like it's all you his fault. Uh, Matru, I'm glad I was able to speak with you. Mokumo -sa. My eyes have been opened. See, I was too tired before. <laughs> this person is a true adult. I'm a child by comparison. But, I think I'll give this believing thing a try. Naniyodai? Myself, and after that, my own feelings. So, that's what I'm as Vatru smiles, a beautiful row of pearly white teeth peeks out. Today, they outshine everything else. I didn't see the teeth, though. Like, that, that was just an open mall. Ano... Ah, it's... it's just... No koto nan desu kedo. It's just... Uh, it's, it's, so I was wrong when I assumed that was a neck apron? This is just her pajamas. Oh, right, painting. Is it okay if we skip today's session? Huh? She sounds disappointed, yet a little relieved at the same time. It's a subtle reaction that's not easy to interpret. Well, I expected this much coming on into this. My body's been worn down for nothing. Uh, it's not so. That, that's so not true, but, uh... You, on the other hand, uh, aren't you acting a little different than usual today? Yeah, I mean, can I ask you a favor? Then I lean into what you didn't whisper my request in your ear. <gasps> Even from this angle, I can hear Shiri's nervous. Well, of course she'd be. How about it? I think this request might finally make something happen if I do say so myself. <laughs> I am suddenly very nervous. <laughs> but you've researched it. <sighs> there was really no way to beat around this particular bush, so I, so I just said it. Chiuri blush, uh, blushes. Chiuri blushes till she's red as an apple, then gives the faintest of nods. Maybe it's a yes, or maybe it's just my imagination. But it's not. But this is no time for retreat. Will that be a problem? I need to give her a little push. Oops. Okay, so far so good. If I say I'm sure, will you hear me out? I have a very bad feeling about this. Being a model was meant as a compensation for me sharing her room. If we're being honest, Shiori's not indebted to me in the slightest. In that case, I wonder why she's hemming and hawing. I just have one thought. I have just one thought. I wonder just how Shiori would paint me on her canvas at this moment. Thoughts like this are probably fueling my present guilt. But, I don't want to browbeat Shiori into doing what I want. So, just to make sure. But if you're really against it, then I won't ask. As a final task, I give her an easy way out. She doesn't hide her nervousness, but she doesn't seem entirely opposed either. Even though I've asked for something so absurd, she won't be daunted. Chances are that, no matter how rough the water, Shiori would face them head on, just like this. He's driven by a single thing, curiosity. That side of Shiori might just be what caught my eye in the first place. So, I'll get... ready? Hi. Then, at the last moment, I realize something. My throat goes dry. This is despicable, isn't it? Despite being the one who made such a request, I'm having second thoughts. But, my mind's made up. For now, let's just enjoy our time alone to the forest. Let's throw- oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. She is still in her, in her underwear. It's still fine. She's wearing only her underwear. Not a stitch more. And that's gonna be a dire she already sits on the chair. This is all according to my instructions, of course. 
I don't hide my hunger. I stare at Chiyuri's exposed body as she squirms. This curves. It's hard to restrain myself. Unless I keep scaring, staring at her, not even bothering to blink. Hell, pff, I, this is, mm, doing something like this is definitely natural, but my baser instincts reject such reasoning. Skin <sighs> is such an, uh, is like an untouched canvas. Then frame supports beautifully drawn curves that taper in at the waist. In this composition, the f color of flesh dominates, drowning out all other hues. Judy's bra supports are still ripening breasts, while the, the, they're supposed to be still ripening, they're quite big already. <laughs> while this important place, uh, while the most important place of all is covered by just a thin strap of cl strip of cloth. Uh, Shiori's girlish charms and her blustering loveliness support each other to a degree that's breathtaking. It's devastatingly hot! And Shiori was choosing her underwear, she must have picked these knowing they would stoke the flames of my desire. A good taste chance through, even in a moment like this. It's an odd thing to find moving, though. I'm just like... So skip ahead a bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because you're the one wearing it, but it suits you perfectly. <sighs> Once the passion ignites, it's hard to hold, back, hold myself back. It's clear that my words were, are no passing compliment. But until my relationship with Shiori had reached its current level, I never noticed the side of her. The side of me. It's... Or, or her. Of me. It's as if the term closet pervert was invented just to refer to me. But it's clear who brought this side of me to the surface. <sighs> An incredibly sexy person sitting right across from me, this girl named Shiuri. That's right, it's all Shiuri's fault. Even if I shift the blame, I continue to enjoy her beautiful body. Hmm? You're right. But till now, I've only been scrutinizing her every reaction. I thought it fun. But more importantly, I want to see how this evolves. Colonel Desires blazes up at me once more, growing redder and hotter with every passing second. First, spread your legs. Yuri shifts her thighs, thighs nervously. What's wrong? But I'm the model, the lights are always on. Did that as so you could look at me. And right now, you'll do the same so I can look at you. That's why we're keeping the lights on. I think things will be more interesting that way. Do you disagree? <laughs> Although it's a ridiculously selfish reason I'd given, uh, I've given, it seems rather persuasive to Shiori. <laughs> but... <laughs> it is. For example, what if our ro roles were reversed? If I don't... I really don't want to imagine that how I'd look. But from Shiuji's bashfulness and a little bit of imagination, I can take a pretty good guess. I know you're embarrassed. And if the person watching is dear to you, then what? Embarrassment and dislike don't always have to overlap. So Shiuji, having agreed to this embarrassment, heard my wish and assumed this pose. Out of respect for her strong will, I want to keep going, even if I have to get a little assertive. All of this just to see how Shiuji will react. But right now, you're just sitting there. The pathetic, uh, with that pathetic look on her face, aren't you? I tried to rile Shiori up with direct pro provocation. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Even as she endures this barrage of humiliation, Shiori complies with my earlier instruction. <laughs> her delicious legs open little by little. Ah, oh, this hurts. Reading this out hurts, but it feels still sto story important. Fuck! You know what? Fuck it. Uh, pause here. I'll just roughly de detail the story important things that happened during the sex scene. See you after this. So I'm back again for a bit just because of the flat next line. Heresy. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting this and it killed me. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back to skipping.
Okay, I'm not sure if we're safe yet. Nothing actually story important happened, so I sifted through that literally only for the heresy line. Like, I had to sadly read through him licking her toes, and I did not want to live through that, but I had to, sadly, and I regret it deeply, especially since, uh, apparently there was nothing for me to check. Until today, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out all sorts of complicated matters. Now it occurred to me that I might have been needlessly overthinking things. I have a bad feeling. We're heading to the bath. あの、翔太郎。一つ言っておきたいことがあります。ロテンブルはこういうことをする場所ではありません。一日の疲れを洗い流す癒しの空間です。なのに。それに that's an outdoor hot spring, of course it's out in the open. So you could do it in a cage and nine It'll be fine. No one's gonna come all the way out here at this time of night. Now put your hands there. Yeah, that's a good spot. I think it'll be a little harder for anyone to see us from outside. Let's change to CG. It's still a sex. Oh, he, he placed her right in front of a mirror. Back to skipping. Help. Okay, we're immediately back again because nice butt. <laughs> just nice butt. <sighs> like, like I literally only pressed once between... Like, ad advanced the text by one click between me stopping the record, uh, pausing the recording and starting it again. Anyways, back to skipping. It appears the scene is over. This one feels nice. Hi. Shirin and I walk side by side along the moonlit beach. No particularly no particular destination in mind. The only thing we hear are the crash of the waves and the sound of our footsteps. At this moment, we might as well be the only two people in the world. That's how it feels, at least. Even though we're only walking, it's nice doing this. Huh? Oh. Hmm. I wonder. That's not quite the flashy version I'd find in the city. Technically speaking, this does count as nightlife. A couple wandering this beach last, late at night. Yep, that's definitely count that definitely counts as light nightlife. Of course, it's not like I planned this. I hadn't thought this far ahead. So Huh? What cap? What you talking about? <laughs> yes, oh, so you think I'm playing dumb? Surely. No, no, no. No, no, I thought we already settled that. There's no evidence on any wrongdoing on, of any wrongdoing on my part. That's more of a personal preference. I don't think it's limited to villains. I have to say, you're surprisingly sure of yourself. Normally, a person would presume to call themselves pure. I wouldn't presume to call themselves pure. Ugh. You don't have to dwell quite so long on the fact that I was a virgin. Why are you trying to so hard to make me the villain here? <clears throat> I 
犬にでも噛まれたということにして忘れることもできそうです。Forget. So, lo- so long after the fact. Are you forgetting it or something? <laughs> 傷つきました Well, yeah. Damn, I fall into a trap. していませんよ、後悔なんて。していません。Ah. Similar conversation the other day. 大切な思い出です。Memory, huh? はい。Memory. That word resonates within me. Sometimes the word has specific intent that's left unspoken. So, shielding is blank to relegating me. Or our character, at least, to the past, a memory. Even if that's an exaggeration, some part of her might be considering it even as we speak. That's what I think. So, I assume that's all I can think about. I start to feel a crushing pressure on my chest. Without warning, I suddenly slip and fall into complete darkness. I'm having a full blown panic attack. Crap, if I check out now, what do I do? What do, I do? If I have any help for the future, then there's nothing to do but walk forward. There's no choice but to face reality head on, is there? I know. Sotaro ga kono shima o dete mo. Watashi wa Sotaro no koto o. Wait! Seems my fears were justified. That's why I didn't want to say that word until I absolutely had to. She really stiffens it. Was she surprised by my cry? Hi. She tilts her head inquisitively. The truth is, I've been thinking about something. Kanga ete iru koto? Yeah. I. I want to be together with you forever. So, Taro, wa. Kono shima ni nokoru te koto desu ka? No, that's not what I mean. I'll have, to leave, I'll have to leave the island soon, and I want you to come with me. So, itte moraite hureshi desu. Demo. You don't have to decide right now if you don't want to. Dakedo, watashi wa. I know. I knew I'd never change your mind with a simple, invita- with a simple invitation. But. This will be a marathon, not a sprint. Do you dislike the idea of being with someone like me? So, n a k o t o a r i m a s e n e m o Is it about the, paint, the painting? Oh. At that moment, she. She seemed to realize everything. Sorry, I was curious what I'd been modeling for, so I took a peek when you weren't around. And once I did, I realized something. She got on this, Areva. You have some kind of mental block when it comes to painting people. I rush to explain my words coming out in the torrent, one thought running into another. I made Nagisa tell me. I feel guilty about that, but I was afraid to hear it from you directly. Just what was in your head when you painted that? When I thought about it, it's like I was convinced she hated me just because she'd erased some of me from her painting. But if there's a chance my chosen partner might have a grudge against me, if it was that possibility, I went a little nuts. So I thought if I asked Nagisa, she'd be able to shed some light on the situation. I'm sorry. But now. Uh, whoops. Fuck. But now, if you try your hardest, you'll be able to do it, won't you? Paint a portrait of a person, that is. You were able to sketch my picture up through the rough drafts. You already managed to finish Nagisa's. She's strangely tongue tied. It seems that the story is about to take a turn for the serious. For s h e w o u l d e this problem relates to her very identity. But. t h i s too painful for you to go into? I hadn't planned on talking about this. When, someone like, when you like someone, you want to know everything about them. That's simply human nature. But no matter the individual, if they've lived long enough, they're bound to have deep wounds that they don't want to talk about. And I've never made a hobby of poking at those kinds of scars. But if I can spend my day smiling, with Shiori's,、uh, smi- smiling by Shiori's side, then I don't care about such trivial details. Yet, I'm not pursuing this matter because it's fun. It's just that I love you, Beauty. I want to be with you for as long as possible. There aren't, these aren't just, mean, there aren't just meaningless platitudes. I've come to a number of decisions regarding the present and future. And I realized I can't avoid this topic any longer. 
So let me say this first. If this subject only holds hurt for you, then we can stop the conversation right here and now. But if there's something you want to share with me, then, or if there's something I could do for you instead, I'm open to any requests. I want to help you, Shiuri. Don't make fun, I'm serious. Just now. I'm serious. Just now. I'm Seriously。そうたろうが真剣だから私も掃除ました。何かおかしいですか？だ、だ。そうたろうは管理人さんからどこまで聞いているんですか？ Anyone else? What about Nagisai? じ上した相手から変に気を使われてしまうのが嫌だっただけです。だから今から私が宗太郎に伝えることはこの島だと本当に管理人さんしか知りません。もしかしたら管理人さんに伝わってないことも含まれているかもしれません。もしかしたら。いろんな嫌な感情を。そうたろうに与えてしまうかもしれません。それでも。本当に聞きたいですか。それでも。本当に聞きたいですか。それでも。本当に聞きたいですか。それでも。本当に聞きたいですか。それでも
Oh, they didn't get married first. That's the story I was told as a child, at least. Didn't they? Oh, oh, didn't they get married first? That's the story I was told as a child, at least. Of course, there was no harm meant by those words. After that, everything else just naturally fell into place. My mother smiled as she told me all this. Even now, I remember the uncomfortable look that came over my father's face in that moment. I don't want her learning from our bad example. Although I didn't fully grasp the meaning of my father's words back then, I certainly felt I was... I felt there was some truth to them. However, it's safe to say I wasn't entirely convinced. Whether that was freedom or recklessness on my part is open to interpretation. As parents, or as professionals in their field, they were both very respectable. In particular, my father devoted himself to his work from early in the morning to late at night, barely even bothering to get up from his desk. This was when I was still in elementary school. My father, who had been busy, proposed that the three of us travel abroad as a family. Let's go to the British Museum, then to the Sagrada Familia, and after that, let's see the Mont uh, Saint Michel. If you two feel up to it, then a full Euro uh, European tour is now out of the question. If she already sees the original works by the great masses, then maybe her painting skills will improve even more. He had been thinking something along those lines. He truly doubted on me. As part of my father's proposal, I'd won a prize at a painting competition. Chances are that's what sort of solidified the idea in his mind. We were a well-off household. But no matter how much money we had, we were limited by the amount of free time available to us. A trip, much less an overseas one, would be entirely out of the question. Still experiencing found country would be a rare opportunity. So it was decided we'd go on a trip as per my father's wishes, and every indication was it would and every indication was it would be wonderful. But it was the but I was at the age where I wanted to act a little older than I actually was. It was true, I had indeed made such a promise. But if I apologized to the others at the camp, I'm sure I would have been able to go on a vacation. And using that as an excuse, I turned down the family trip. It's not that I particularly disliked foreign countries or anything. I wasn't yet at a I wasn't yet a rebellious teen. I would have loved to go on an overseas vacation. If I could experience different cultures, then I'd be sure to paint better pictures. While that might have been idealistic, I truly believed it. I really couldn't disagree with my father in that point. People often tell me that I look like my mother, but when it comes to personality, I might be, it, I might be more like my father. But we should back, get back to the topic at hand. I turned down the overseas trip despite having every reason to want to go. If I wanted to be surrounded by works of art and tourist attractions, I could always go when I was older. But when the time came, but my father and mother still had energy to enjoy it. I wanted us to be happy forever. And so I wished with all my heart that we'd be happy forever. I wanted my parents to be healthy forever. So I wished with all my heart that we'd be healthy for, they'd be healthy healthy forever. I think everyone's wish for something similar is in regards to their I think everyone wished for something similar in regards to their own family. But reality is never so kind. Human beings get sick, they grow old and leave their best years behind them. In that case they should take the trip while they're both still healthy. They should enjoy the trip while their bodies still permit them to endure the rigors of travel. I didn't want them to go on the trip for my sake, but for theirs. That's what I thought. I thought. Oh no, did they die in a fucking plane crash or something? While I was still in my mother's womb, my parents had their names entered in the family registry, got married, and changed their jobs. They gave birth to me and they raised me. With all that commotion, the two of them... I managed to go on a honeymoon. We'll save our world too for when we retire. My mother often joked around like that. But in reality, I think she might have been half serious. So, from my experience, but from my perspective, I'd only ever take things from them. I'd never given anything back. I wanted to give my parents a respite from their endless work. I wanted to give them time alone together. But it's true they might never be able to get that lost honeymoon back. I could at least do this much. This would be my thanks to them for having brought me into this world and raised me. It was a crazy idea. It doesn't sound like a the thought process 
a child of child. But I've always been like that, even back then. I knew I wanted to become an adult as soon as I could. If I could do that, then I'd be able to experience even more, even f sooner. And that way, I'd be able to paint even more things. But I'd like my imagination to do them didn't take my suggestion well. I couldn't just leave a child unsupervised. They were warriors at heart. This was back when the manager wasn't quite old enough to be called manager. The manager was the child of my mother's older brother. She was a cousin of mine who lived in the same neighborhood as me. Whenever one, child, one child's parents were busy, the other parents would look after both children. In a manner of speaking, we were all just one big family. Eventually, my mother and father made a decision. They'd go on their trip alone. Their destination was the Mediterranean Sea. They scaled back their itinerary and booked passage on a cruise ship. While I had resolved not to go with them, when I thought of traveling on such a huge ship, I really wanted to go. It was childish and selfish of me. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. But you were literally still a child. <laughs> But I was okay with that. After all, not everybody would have given thought to such things in the first place. But an unexpected result. Yep, saw that one coming. Isn't that like a real ship? Nah, it isn't.現場から遠く海を隔てた日本でも大きなニュースになってたわよね。客船の事故。それってあれかい？死者も随分出たっていう。確か事故当時船長が責任を放棄して逃げ出したとかなんとか。あら、うち世にも興味があるのね。人幽
僕はもちろん神様にだってできやしない<笑>そうよね少なくとも私にはできなかったわどうしてなの Oh! Oh, okay! The people who caused the accident had probably carried out their duties. Two of them might have been rescued in time. If there were more life vests, if there were more escape boats, if the ship had been built stronger, if there were shoals in that particular stretch of sea, there were so many ifs in the equation. I wouldn't accept it. I couldn't accept the reality like that. But. I knew that much already. That's my depression button. Oh yeah, right, this is the depression button. <sighs> no matter how many tantrums I threw or how childish I acted, I couldn't stop that chip from capsuling. <laughs> Suddenly, all alone. こんなつもりじゃ。こんなつもりじゃなかったのに。それが。しばらく私の口癖でした。Felt like I'd been hit in the head with a hammer, not just figuratively. It was that shocking. I understand why Nagisa said it needed to hear it for myself. Nonetheless, this is exactly why I wish I'd known about this sooner. That's... My astonishment at learning the truth has left me speechless. Bloody meveled words. It's like being unable to think. That's... It's painful. It's hard to breathe. It's like being in pitch black water. I can't tell from... Down. I can't tell up from down. In which direction do I swim to get the breath of fresh air? Gasping under the weight of that water, I struggle to find the right words to say to Shiori. It's not your fault, Shiori. There's no need to say things like that. Shiori's parents just had bad luck. It's as simple as that. It's sad, but it's the objective truth of the matter. But it's not your fault, Shiori. No matter how often she hears those words, if she doesn't believe them herself, It'll always be cold comfort. Even so, I still have to say it. It's not your fault, Shiori. How many times it takes? Dozens, hundreds, thousands. I'll repeat those words. If somebody s doesn't step in to support her, the weight will keep piling on, to, uh, piling up on her. Shiori, Shiori will inevitably con collapse. That's my fear. Shiori, it's not your fault at all. Not at all. But in truth. So this is it. That accident is already far in the past. At some level, Shuri must have must know she should give this up. But still. That's right. Such thoughts don't just vanish. No matter how much she regrets it, Judy's parents will never come back. The consequences of their choices are merciless, utterly unfair. Every day they pierce her heart a little more. If she lets it, her choice will haunt her for the rest of her life. It will keep on tormenting her soul. As a result, the dark demon called Spare will patiently wait. It's small hope until she inevitably, inevitably falls in. 事故後、すぐに異変があったわけじゃないのよね
異変人物画を描かなくというか描けなくなった話のことまあ家族がそんな事故にあったわけだからカンバスに向かい合う時間もなかったわけだけどしおりちゃんマキさんをうちで預かるようになってそれからまたしばらくしたらなんと合唱がやってきてね彼女の絵を買い付けに来たのよコンクールの絵を見て感銘を受けましたへえいい話じゃないか私も最初はそう思ったわでももう少しよく考えてみるべきだったマキさんと相談して手元に置く一部を除いて全部その彼に絵の商談は任せたんだけどそしたら結構な数がいい値段で売れちゃったのよねでしまいには新作を独占的に取り扱わせてほしいってすごいなまだしおりくんは小学生だったんだろうそれこそ絵に描いたような成功だそうねただそれが正当な評価だったならなどういうことだいマキさんの絵は飛ぶように売れたただしその絵には決まっていつも悲劇の天才少女が描く魅惑の世界なんてねそれは渡が眉を潜めるのもわかるわついに呼び捨てかいよいよ深酒だね利用できるものなら何でも利用すればいいそういう考え方もできるかもしれないわよねきっと野心にあふれた大人ならそういう考え方ができる人もいたでしょうだけど当時小学生の彼女がチャリティー的な要素で悪意のある言い方をすれば絵を売るために両親の死を出しにされたと知ったらどんなことを思うかしら嫌な話だねまあ考えてみればおかしな話なのよね評価が定まった後ならいざ知らずそんなにバカすか売れるわけがないじゃないその絵の出来栄えはよかったわよあの子が描いたんだもの悪いはずがない怖いなそうねお金って本当にそうじゃないよ何よりも彼女への影響がね実際おかしくなったわよそれまでは絵がよりどころになっていたから余計よね特に合唱はマキさんに新作を求めていたけれどそのテーマは家族に関するものが多かったしああそういうことか彼女が人間を描けなくなったのはそのせいよ天才の挫折か挫折というかおられたのよ I know I'm messing around with the zipper on the pocket on this pants. I don't know why it has a fucking zipper, anyways. 人の欲と偶発的な悲劇が、早熟の天才を、根元からばっきりとね。僕なら人間不信に陥りそうだ。よく言うわ。もともと他人のことなんて、これっぽっちも信じちゃいないくせに。心外だな。僕の場合は単に自分自身が一番信頼できると知っているだけさすごい自信ね羨ましい渚くんにもレクチャーしようか宗太郎くんと同じこといいわよ私はそうかいそれから長い間彼女は人物画を描けなくなったそして画商もあっさりと彼女に愛想をつかせたチャリティーのはずなのに本質は商売だもの。かけない人間の相手をしている暇はないってこと。で、今から2年前、彼女は、私とこの島へ来て、私をモデルに絵を描いた。かけなかったはずの人物がへえ、しおりくんにとってのなぎさくんは、さぞかし特別な存在なんだろうね。何それ嫌味やだな本音だよ
あれはリハビリみたいなものだったのよそしたらあっさり書いてしまったでも私はあっさり書いてしまったでも私はあっさり書いてしまったでも私はあっさり書いてしまったでも私はあっさり書いてしまったでも私はあっさり書いてしまったでなければ、親愛の感情。それが、マキさんに私の肖像を描かせた。<笑>それはそれで美しいお話よね。でも、彼をけしかけて確信したわ。何をあの子多分、最初から描けなくなったわけじゃなくて。ただ、自分の意思で描いてなかっただけなのよ。はい私本当は人物画も描けるんです Why did you so、申し訳ないとは思っていますでも最初だけは本当に何一つ描けない時期もあったんです <laughs> それもありますだけど絵を売りたくないというだけなら商談をお断りすればいいだけの話ですだから理由はいろいろです絵を描くという行為がひどく無意味に感じられたり自分の実力やそれを取り巻く環境に失望してみたり聞こえよく言えばそうですでも要は私なりのわがままだったんですよね。That's a lie. I've seen you paint. When you're working, your eyes are focused on the dazzling. I fell in love with that part of you, Shiori. ありがとうございます。そう言っていただけて嬉しいです。I was not expecting this to take so long! <laughs> <laughs> だといいんですけどわからないんです両親を失った私におじさんとおばさんはとてもよくしてくれましたそして私を一番そばで支えてくれたのは管理人さんですいつも何かと気にかけてくれて私のことを見ていてくれて2年前に私をここへ誘ってくれたのも管理人さんでしただから管理人さんは私にとって姉であり親のようなものでこの島は私の家でここで暮らす人たちは私の家族みたいなものでそれがかりそめの関係だということは分かっていますでもここは暖かくてだから私はこの島から離れたくない離れたくないと思って That's why we've kept silence about sound about being able to paint portraits again シューリー gives a subtle but unmistakable nod. 元に戻ってしまったら、もうここにはいられなくなります。だから私は、絵を描けることを黙って。でも、カニニーさんの絵は描いてしまったから。See? So for that reason, Nagisa was sent something was amiss, insisted she would leave the island. だから、私は宗太郎のことが好きです好きだけどこの島からは離れたくないんです That's true that I'm willing to give up on us, Yuri. はい。Yep, right, like I'd actually say that. <laughs> This silent time stands still. If you were able to keep moving and keep living here, With everyone forever, I'm sure you'd be happy. But is that realistic? 
There's no such thing as forever, though. Not for human beings, not for this island. That's... That's just running away, isn't it? It's not wrong. I didn't say it was. If you really want, do want to live this way, if you're on this island, that's fine to do just that. That's what I think. You should be wasting your life to a certain extent, but that's not an entirely inherently bad thing. Well, good things eventually decay, after all. But, Shiri. Don't your amb ambitions lie elsewhere? ずっとこの島にいたいんです。来てください、この星空。上を見上げれば、いつだって星が乱乱と輝いていて、部屋を出ればすぐそこに、いつも南国の景色が広がっているんです。人物が何て書かなくても、私は大好きな風景を。ずっと書いていられる。それに私に家族はいないけれど。でも家族みたいな人たちはここにいる。管理人さんもずっと私を見てくれている。私はだから。なけ。なけ、why だから。好みだったから。行ってみれば遺伝子が引かれたからで。でもそれは本当にそれだけの話で。私にとってはやっぱり。この島の方が大事で。Whether or not like you like me isn't important right now. Actually, it's of the utmost importance to me, but I'll take the risk of putting these feelings aside for now. When you picked me as your model, was it really a romance that inspired your choice? There was another reason you decided to paint me, wasn't there? In her mind, does the pursuit of aesthetics trump the pursuit of love? It's a hard feeling to explain. And honestly, it's nothing but a lame excuse. Your landscape paintings. You've shown them to me before, remember? All the time, I felt like there was something missing from those paintings. If I didn't have any artistic taste, then I wouldn't have confidence in my aesthetic opinion. But even as an amateur, I'm still able to judge what's in front of me. I really like Shiori's pictures. They're technically well ex executed, no doubt, and of the highest quality. But it's not enough to just draw. It's not enough to just paint. If you leave empty space in your pictures, of course it'll be troubling. They're troubling. <gasps> First, I simply thought I lacked the aesthetic sense to appreciate it, but, but, in truth, you'd intended to add a person to all those. Uh, you'd intended to add a person to all those scenes, didn't you? Is that so? But you said it earlier, didn't you? Painting doesn't restrict you to what's really there. It also lets you paint what you think belongs there. True, there may have been n nobody in that scenery as seen through her eyes, or her camera lens to speak. But when she really composes that same scenery in her mind, surely she has an idea of what she wants to paint there. But if she painted what's in her head, it'd be impossible for her to stay on this island. That's why she doesn't paint. If we help bent on running away, then there's always time for that. You can live as you want, where you want. But if you run away from your look true intentions, telling yourself all the while that it's okay. Do you really think that's a good idea, Shiori? Shiori wears an expression I haven't seen her make until now. Moans weakly in panic. It's just like that. The cutting words I've been using on Shiri have just cut me back. This double-edged sword slices me right open. 
but it's a wound of my own making, and one which I'll gladly endure. Focus only on the task at hand, even if doing so means crushing my own feelings. Despite the fact, I take a skeptical view of Shiri's claims to blame. I, I don't make a lot of sense sometimes. Up until now, I've lived my life as rationally as I could. Yet now, for the sake of a single girl, I've thrown that roll book right out of the window. They say sudden swerves hold the greatest chance of collision. And right now, I'm a burning wreck. If compared what I've said my whole life to what I'm saying now, it'd be a master class in contradiction. It's like having your values and ideals thrown to the ground, watching as they shatter into a thousand pieces. But even so, there's still something I need to say. Still aware of your real feelings, aren't you? It's because, precisely because you're aware of them that you drew as much of me as you did. You got all the way through the rough draft. Uh, you got all the way through the rough draft, yet still decided to abandon your own feelings. Do you intend to betray your betray? Uh, do you intend to betray your own art? Can you swear to that? <laughs> Fuck. Too many pauses. Can you look at me in the eye and tell me you wouldn't betray your art? Your feelings have merit, but it's only an excuse to strangle your own true, true feelings. Not because I wouldn't want that for, for you. And what I'm about to say can't be taken back. Why did your parents want you to go abroad in the first place? They wanted to nurture your talent, let you see the world. They planned the trip around that, didn't they? Doesn't matter! Admit it already! This video's had nothing to do with the accident! Judy's wavering. But she still needs one last push. For that push to happen, I have to summon all my courage. If I say it... Say it... I'm this far, all for the sake of this, haven't I? Self-motivation is never enough on its own. The future is an unfathomable, unfathomable chasm. And so far, I've built only the flimsiest of bridges. Anxiety has stopped me in my tracks. I can't move a single step. But at that exact moment... It's... The scenery suddenly comes ablaze with gold and scarlet. Maybe it's the serious nature of the conversation we've been having, but I hadn't noticed until now. Up from the horizon, the sun begins to rise. Kira. It certainly was. Such light could why leave a wipe. A mind clean what? Wiped clean, probably. Could leave a mind wiped clean. And with Shiori standing so entranced by this majestic moment, I've got no choice but to strike while the iron's hot. In a way, the sun is now my enemy. The sun rises, a blatant act of provocation. It's war between us. It might just be an inanimate object, but right now the sun seems to have a world of its own. But why, I wonder? We're on this tropical island. Could it be that the fiery light steaming over the, streaming over the horizon is trying to kindle courage within me? Why else appear at this precise moment? Let's assume for a moment that such a magical thinking is true. I... 
Can I say it? That's why I... Should I say it? I want you to do what your heart tells you. Does someone like me even have the right to say it? These are my true feelings. The countless conflicts of my life, the countless decisions that have led to this point, they all flash before my eyes. Could this be the end? My legs tremble, my throat tightens, but... After everything I've said, self-righteous though it may have been, if I give up now, it would have all been for nothing. So I must have the last of my courage. I want to spend the, my life with you, Shiori. I want to always be by your side, admiring the wonders you create. I want you to leave this island with me, and one day, travel the world with me. Forever and never. Together. I said it, the thing I want most in all the world. Thing I've always longed for. I actually said it. Made my decision and put everything on the line. But it's not just some pipe dream. Surely not all of it is feasible right now. Indeed, not all of it is even typical of my character. But <laughs> I don't even know what typical is for me anymore. That's why I'm now trying to figure out what's what what it's become. Which Ironically, is rather typical of me. Then I realize it involves having Shiori smiling by my side. That's probably why I said what I did. I don't know how long it'll take me to turn these dreams to a reality. I'm going to graduate and devote myself to making them come true. Ever since I was a boy, I've been awful at coming up with big dreams. But on the other hand, I've always been quite good at planning and practicalities. They don't have the money, I don't have magic powers. But with just my own will and my own strength. Now it's possible you might see this an, as an empty promise. As long as I have Shiri's smile. But I plan to devote my life to it. I'll pour more of myself into this pursuit than anything I've ever done before. I'm certain I can rewrite this reality into what I want most. If you've got some baggage inside you, maybe the pressure of painting or hatred of another person, or even lingering feelings of guilt. Could be anything. Could be everything. Whatever it is, I'll shoulder half of that burden for you. So, will you believe, will you believe in me? Will you come with me? At that moment? It's easy to see the strain on her face. Something's keeping her from responding. Tears well up in her eyes. She smiles at me through her tears. I wonder what's the precise ratio of smile to tears. I wonder what the precise ratio to, uh, of smile to tears is, though. And why, at a crucial moment like this, do such trivial things occupy my mind? <laughs> uh, five and a half hours! It is almost 3 a.m. Shiori. Morning sun bakes the sandy sandy beach. Well, two silhouettes nestle close and become one. <laughs> Over the course of one night, what's changed and what hasn't? What's come true and what hasn't? Still don't know all the answers myself. But there is one thing I'm able to say with certainty. First time that I've ever seen such a feeling of liberation. That I've ever had such a feeling of liberation. And it's the first time I've ever been this exhausted. The lesson? It hurts to face reality. But the most important things in life are often found in the midst of pain. On this island of wonders, come to understand that might be the greatest wonder of all. My god. Ah.
Should I just go for a... Fuck it. On our last day working on this island, means it's also our last day staying on this island. I wait at the harbor, hoping she comes. Huh. That's... Yeah. What do you mean disappointment? And for what and for that matter, what did you mean by hot blooded? Ah, oh, no mind. Nagi's always manages or to sn manages to sniff out the most embarrassing topics right away. Just how much has he she had? <laughs> Now I shall be the one thanking you. You looked out for me until the end. Hmm. last like could mean quite a few things, depending on the context. Ah, uh, no. I offer a cautious reply. Chances are I'm overthinking thing at this. It's Despite everything that's happened, why do I still do that? Well, that's what to do for you. That's true. Well, that's what to do for you. Come to think of it, I, I could imagine what what they're saying something like that myself. It would do him some good to get some hands-on experience for once. I flex my biceps as I say this. まあ。でも経験で言うなら私もそうね。色々と今後の参考になりそう。Reference. <laughs> I guess I pulled something out from between your breasts, of course. What? What? Where did you just get that from? <laughs> <laughs> she produces an envelope with a red, white, and blue pattern along its outer edges. From the looks of it, I say that it's a piece of airmail. Should I take it to the post office back home? <laughs> Beauty, to me. Ever since our conversation that morning, Shiori and I haven't spoken once. After all, uh, afterwards, she shut herself in a room and refused to come out. Because I had no other options, I ended up returning to Kozaki's room and staying there instead. In turn, Kozaki went to Riho's room. She felt bad about dragging the two of them into things, but they were good sports about it. Far from being upset, they were mostly worried about me and Shiori. I could give them little more than vague answers in return. I feel bad about it even now. Let's see. Ah, uh, matte. I guess it stops me as I'm about to open the envelope. After I leave, why? I can. Um, then she already is. ここには来ないと思う。今の彼女は。Subtle <laughs> but her expression changes. Agisa knows something. She shrugs her shoulders and tilts her head innocently. Is that so? Uh, she already waiting? Of course, I thought. But somewhere inside me, I had expected a different ending to this tale. The last day, the last second, she'd make a dramatic appearance. We'd leave the island together hand in hand. That was just wishful thinking, and such a simple wish could never help to re rewrite reality. We haven't exchanged a word since that day, so this result, we get it readily, comes as no surprise. Sabishii? Of course I do. Sono wari ni wa. Ochitsuite mieru kedo. I have nothing to gain from making a scene here. So, wakai no ni takkan shiteru no ne? あの日の慌てようが嘘のよ。まるでこの島にやってきた頃のあなたに逆戻りしたみたいね。あ、なあ、バッタ。バッ。Would you by any chance be the one who's most disappointed by how things have turned out? それもどうかしら。確かに目論
、嫁に出した娘が出戻ってきたような。そんな気分ね。最高ではないけれど、最低でもないわ。だってあの子可愛いもの。あなたに取られなくてよかったかも。Getting a divorce and moving back in with your parents, so to speak. I'm just thinking out loud, but maybe the reason you kept silent about the accident was because even though you wanted she would re recover part of you, didn't want her to leave. Magazelle laughs weakly, unsure of how to reply. <sighs> That's funny. Do you have any idea how upset I was when she already told me about the accident? I'm not sure. 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 First, you say it's like she's like a daughter to you, then you call her a subordinate. Which one is it? You're smirking at me. Don't say that with your hand over your mouth. And I wasn't able to live up to those expectations. So, でもないわ。ずっとかぶり続けていたあの子の仮面を剥いだのはあなただもの。私にはそれだけでも十分。And as far as I'm concerned, that's not nearly enough. すねないの。まだ若いんだから。あなたにとってもいい経験だったでしょ。っていうか、本当いい経験したわよね。What was that? You just punched up what you said a second ago. Bimio? Nani ga? Nagize won't stop smirking. Jeez. Nah, so it was all done, Nishte mo ne? Kito. Anata ni totte mo. Maki san ni totte mo. Muda na jikan ja na katta wa? I. I didn't want the experience. I wanted her. But such complaints would sound. hardly sound manly. I'll make the best of it. Experience that is. So? I guess it breaks to a wide grin. その息よ。私もこの島から祈ってるわ。あなたの今後のご活躍とご健勝をね。Fuck. Well, thank you. <笑>そういう素直な表情、すごくいいと思うわ。Jeez, I can't beat Nagi's even at the very end. おーい、そろそろ出るぞ、宗太郎。あ、uh, yeah. うん。どうやら時間みたいね。I think that's the end. It's so lonely, even without the whole Shiori situation. I t h i n We shake hands. So, so. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. I t h o u g t that I was going to be able to do it. マキさんもういなかったりして。I just have to ruin it by saying something like that. だって、あなたも可愛いんだもの。マキさん、honestly, if you get the s u p はい、ストップ。私ね、可愛い男はいいけれど、弱い男はダメだと思う。というか、ごめんなさい。今のは私のマナー違反ね。旅立つ男は、笑顔で送り出してやる。それぐらいのことができなきゃ、これからも何度だって、巣立つひな鳥を送り出さなきゃいけないんだから。あなたには、あなたの将来がある。だけど、時々でいいから思い出してあげて。この島と、あの子たちのこと。そのセリフと熱い視線は、<laughs> Mama. Senpai? Kozaki? Honto, you met a yuka. Maru de Hono Nakani Tojo Sureona. Staking a basho de stane. Yeah, I, I agree completely. Honto wa arbaito. Saisho wa chotto dake kowa katan desu kedo. Demo, minna ii hito de. Yeah. Shima, dondon chisak na te ikimasu ne. Yeah. 
While the waters behind us are peaceful, the seas ahead gradually begin to surge, rocking the ships from su ship from side to side. The farther we get from island uh, from land, the deeper the ocean gets. Uh, keeps shrinking right before our very eyes. The island, or rather, Shiri, is slipping farther and farther away. Senpai. Hmm. Now, I'm still waiting. Gozaki, you couldn't possibly suggest that I jump overboard and swim to the island. Here, no one is here. What's she saying? Gozaki suddenly rushes up to me, her face looming large. Therefore, therefore, therefore. What? What? She draws even nearer, erasing the space between us. Let's all blame everything to Shiori. What? Confess. Look, the senpai. Oh, that's because. I know. I'm sure the senpai was trying to get rid of me. The senpai is a young man, so I think it's going to be a mess. But I'm sure the senpai is much older. The senpai is thinking more about the girl's feelings. The details are more detailed. What do you mean? Kozaki, the more I think about it, the more I'm certain you've got this whole thing all wrong. Jeez, your imagination is too wild for your own good. Try not to blush when you say that. Besides, I've never done anything to you, right? I, I didn't do anything. Well, chances are that I did. So then, so then, Yuhi-san,言ってましたそうたろうは重度のムッツリストの人だから私たちも船の上で気をつけないとねってへいいやこないでくださいこんな顔が近すぎますはいあめ、you're the one who got up in my face uh, Yuhi, Yuhi, can you hear me? I think we need to do something about Kozaki ASAP or else. Kozaki, just what do you think of me? Sure, why not? There's still some time for do we dock, so let's go ahead and add Yuhi to my list of victims. My aunt has already been dragged to the dirt. What difference will a little more mud make? Was that really just a joke? You know you've got tears in your eyes, right? So weak or trembling? That's not like you, Kozaki. I'm so confused right now. Kozaki. Yeah。My wonderful summer job is ending today. Starting tomorrow, it's back to my drab daily life. But it's those grey days that made me the person I am today. From now on, how I choose to spend these those days is all up to me. She already told me that. Can't just keep my head down and my nose to the grindstone as usual. Thank you, Kozaki. It's been a great help to me. So this ka? Yeah. Life is about to be turned on its head once again. The extraordinary will be replaced by the ordinary. So I'm finding my footing much faster than I expected. Kozaki, you'll freeze out here. Get back inside. No, you're really not. Speed of the ship combined with the ocean spray whip up a bone chilling wind. I've told you this before, right? I grew up at a deep sea fishery. Hey, so I was a saying there. If to catch a tuna you end up sacrificing yourself to the sea, you've actually caught nothing at all. Remember that. Don't tell me. She bought it hook lang and sign the sinker. Well, I guess there's no harm done. It's not like this information will show up on an exam or anything. Raise my hands to show her I understand. Alright.
Wait for me to go back to the low deck. Then I take out the envelope from my pocket and break the seal. No matter what's written here, I don't want anyone else to see my reaction while I read it. To Sotaro. ソタロウさんへまず初めにソタロウさんと一緒に行けないことそれと見送りに行かずこのような別れを選んだことその二つを謝りたいと思いますごめんなさい会ってしまうと心が揺らいでしまいそうなので手紙なら、そう考えての選択だったのですが、少し考えが甘かったかもしれません。気持ちを文面にしたためるのもまた、すごく難しいことなのだと痛感しています。あれから、自分なりに精一杯これからのことを考えました。宗太郎さんは私の背負っているものを半分背負ってくれると言ってくれましたねあの言葉を聞いた瞬間真っ暗な海辺を漂う船のような人生で闇を照らす灯台を見つけたようなそんな感覚に陥りましたそして私の胸
、本当にありがとうございました。こんなに夏を楽しく過ごせたのは、いつ以来かわかりません。これについても、宗太郎さんのおかげです。もしかしたら私は、この夏を幸せに過ごした女の子、ランキング1位なのかも。なんて、そろそろ、何を書いたらいいのか。何を書いているのかわからなくなってきました。ですからもう、名残惜しいですが、お別れを言わなければなりません。だってこのままだと、ずるい言葉を使ってしまいそうだから、宗太郎さん、さようならを言わせてください。あなたと、あなたに巡り会えた幸運を、私は忘れません。全部の思い出が、一生の宝物です。どうかお元気で。さようなら。マキシオリ。Just leaving the lecture all back at college when. Senpai! Oh, Kozuki, what's up? No, I'm not sure. But I'm going to ask you to ask me. Isn't that Ryu's catchphrase from Mahjong Hisho? What made you think of that? Hey, Yuko, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. That, from the thing of it, so we are. Anyways, uh, are you on your way back?、Hi. And take care. 先輩こそ早く帰ってきてくださいね。Go back? What's that supposed to mean? いつまでもあの島にいちゃダメってことです。ここ最近の先輩はふぬけています。講義中いつもぼーっとしてるし。No, I don't. あります。ずっと見てましたから知ってます。先輩こんな風に首ボカーンと開けて。I'm pretty sure I don't do that. してましたよ。観念してくださいネタはもう上がっているんです<笑> She's been watching cop shows too. Not the old ones at that. Well, I appreciate your concern, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the resort. I've just got a lot to think about. Shiori san no koto desu ka? What? Now about money? Hmm. Senpai te kekko ijipari desu yo ne? Sono ue de otoko no ko ni nat chatta na te kibun desu. Leave me alone, says. What did you think I was up to until now? No, no, there's no need for insults. But, <laughs> what? What? Cute? Me? Hey, Kozuki, there's a spider on your shoulder. Just kidding. I prank, my prank sent Kozaki jumping straight into the air. When she lands, she turns on me. Aren't you glad I'm such a guy? What is that? そんなに気になるなら、メールするとか、電話するとか。No, she doesn't have a mobile phone. あれ、今時珍しいですね。芸術家らしいというか。Think about your what you just said. Well, I'd agree with you if she were on the mainland, but. それなら、手紙を送ればいいんです。文通もなかなか素敵だと思いますよ。I could never pull off something as classy as that. もう、そうやってまた意地を張って。私、もう行かないと。You have an appointment? 最近習い事を始めたんです。Lessons? No? Because he's normally afraid of strangers. はい。お料理の。遅刻するといけないので、そろそろ失礼いたしますね。先輩。Because he runs off at a pace that's just shy of a sprint. Jeez, she's gotten brash. Whereas I have maintained my dignity as her senior. Well, maybe I've never had that to begin with. But Kozuki has really come out of her shell since her time on the island. If it ended up being a positive experience for her, that's 
more important than anything I'd say. I won't lose to her. Even if it's only baby steps, I need to start moving forward. Now then. Life goes on, even though my life on the island has finished. Uh, having returned to the mainland from the tropical resort, I've got a little long list of things that need doing. First I need to worry about making money. Then I have to worry about making more money. Thankfully I earned a bit of a fair bit of cash over the summer. So I shouldn't be short on funds for a while. But as I plan what to what I want to do next, but but as I plan on what I want to do next, I won't let the matter of money stop me. I still have to pursue my studies, of course. There are several other things I also need to take care of. Compared to the money situation, everything else seems to like a cakewalk. I've got my license. I've also got my passport. Next, I have to get certified for an international driver's license. And after that, what was it? Studying up on foreign languages might not be a bad idea. If Europe's on the itinerary, that'll mean quite a few languages to deal with. But if you consider overall versatility... In the end, English is probably the most useful language! <sighs> Just taking class won't be enough. But I also don't want to spend any money. Well, what would my best option be? If I wanted to learn as quickly as possible, I could go backpacking in an English-speaking country. But there's college to consider. Wait. Even if I don't do that, I can still immerse myself in some local environment that requires me to use English extensively. What would that be? Maybe a sports bar that's popular among foreigners? How would that go? I guess I won't know unless I try. <sighs> I sigh heavily, thinking of the obstacles ahead of me, but I have to overcome them no matter what. Back on the island, I was painfully aware of my own weakness. That's why I've decided to change myself. I'm devoting all my effort to this. But effort doesn't always guarantee you results. Judy. Though Kozaki suggested it earlier, I've actually already sent several letters to the island. Even though I tried writing those letters with a certain amount of reserve, my raw emotions kept spilling out onto the page. But I've never gotten a response, not even once. Could it be that she's already left the island? Maybe Judy's already gone out into the world. To a place so far that I could never hope to reach her. Thoughts like, Thoughts like these aren't helping any. Though she had, I think I'd give her my blessing with a smile. Judy has already given me so much. Suppose that Judy never returns to my side, if that means that she's begun rowing, rowing out into the wild world. That's already enough, isn't it? In that case, I would have had some value to someone after all. Restless, I, sna restless, I sna snatched the job listings off the tea table. For now, let's find another job. Times like these, the best thing to do is stay busy. Plus, I'd make some cash, if so I'd be killing two birds with one stone. It's ironic. Even as I ponder something with a value that transcends money, I've only managed to prove, prove just how important money is. But there's by no means a step backwards. The act of working and getting paid for it is... Favorite is, for me, like breathing itself. Right now, in order to do what I want, and in a sense protect what I value most... I want to keep on working. That's what I've decided. When will it end? You never know what life will throw at you next. So it's always worth considering short-term goals, not just long-term ones. I think that's a good policy. It's something I hadn't given much thought to until recently. If I want, things if I want to keep things simple, this public works job would be a safe bet. I'd be able to start right away. It's also a job as a male promotional model. Huh. For whatever reason, the hourly pay is unusually high, and I don't have a particularly good feeling about this. Eh. Eh, while I agonize over finding the best part-time job with good pay, my doorbell rings. Uh, yes, thanks, I'll be right there. Package for me, that's unusual, that's a mover. <laughs> the moment I opened the door, two burly movers burst in, each carrying one side of a large package. Huh? Um, this. Uh, yes, Seth. Is all of this for me? So, this is it. There must be a mistake or something. It is! Move his mop. 
their brows, grin, and give me a thumbs up. Yeah, just grin. I don't have a clue what's going on. Sumimasen, Sotaro. Oteharai wa doko de shou ka? What? 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 What the what? <laughs> Help. I should, honest to God, just shut the fuck up because, by God, it's late. What? It's. Oh my God, it's half past 3 a.m. Help, I'm going to die tomorrow. Curse my non ability to hold back. Why? Why are you here, Shiri? No, stay calm. Well, of course! But that was. I'm happy, so, so happy I could die, in fact. I thought that much was clear. But isn't there something strange about all this? She already looks around my place. Uh, th now we're talking about my room? Is our touching reunion already over? Of course, I'm human after all! Given this obscene of events, there's no way I could stay calm. Could it be that all these packages. So that's it, of course it is. There's no need to make it sound better than it is. It's not like it will make it any better. Bigger. あ、スペース。でも。やはり狭いことには変わりないので落ち着いたらとっとと引っ越しましょう。ブフクイクリー、ウェア。私の家に。あ、エクスキューズミ。はい。コチュアトリストウェイトアンティルアグラチュエイト
Right, to make everything right again, which is why. Manzoku was the Naiwa. Demo Tabu. Konkai wa kore de yokata no yo. Wataru san mo. Commento ni komarune. Even though he said it himself earlier. You know what I think I'm going to title this part? Regret? Because by God, it like... Encapsulates the theme of the route as well as what I'm currently feeling. <laughs> Help. 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 <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? I've literally like uploaded two uh, after this part. It's gonna literally just be two parts uploaded, and already a route finished. That is not a healthy thing to do. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oops. After all, she also tried her hardest. <laughs> Thinking about Shiori spouting words to me, tears well up in my eyes. Dear uncle, dear don't. Your daughter's finally overcome her misfortunes. She has left the nest and is learning to fly out there in the world. There's a boy by her side who supports her. If at all possible, uncle, please find room in your large heart to watch over them. Oh, it actually does have purple eyes. I'm just fucking high. Oh! Is that Vatru there? Oh! Intriguing, Vatru actually wears glasses! He's bespectacled! I wonder if I can actually see that if I... hold on. This is still going. Oh yeah, I can actually see that he wears glasses here as well. Jigging. Oh well. Now we're good. I finally unpacked all the shipping boxes and organized their contents. Yeah, oh, there still seems to be a little left over. Put that stuff on the shelves. Oh, it's Now that... Oh, the orange waves of the setting sun are slanting into the room. <laughs> the sun's sinking rather quickly. Yeah. I was blessed with so many priceless experiences this summer. Really, it was perfect. Yeah. And I was, a, and I was able to find a girlfriend. Chiyori. Put my hand on Shiori's shoulder. And then I kissed her small, perfect lips. Before we knew it, we were making out. Yeah, that's right. So you noticed it too. We haven't kissed it all until now. That's my fault. After we first got together, there were all these extenuating circumstances. Now I'd still take things as they came. <sighs> then as we spent more time together, I really wanted to kiss you. But the timing kept being bad, and anyway, those are all just excuses. <笑>でも、ようやくしてもらいました。やはり、ファンリーダンエット。あの、もういいんですかあ、ワイニットモア。ソジョバスベイデンディーヴニングサン。ビケスワンスモア。ディフェンタンデフェスキスウィシェアド
That did not do what I was expecting it to do. Please. That did not do what I was expecting it to do. Please. That uh, I can't skip it. <sighs> okay, turn it off. I'll pause the vi pause the recording until I'm until it's done. See you afterwards. Okay, the credits are over. Why is the sexy music playing? Judy, gorgeously attired, straddles my waist. Please don't tell me. Passionate sigh. Face flushed with excitement, dazed almost. Sweat stut her lithe limbs with tiny gemstones. Like tiny gemstones. The dress is beautiful on you. If you ask me, you look like a princess. So very cute. Yep, she's ragging him right like a fucking bronco. Why is this something that's going on? She's wearing a... Like a wedding dress, a very nice one. But why, why, why put a sex scene here? See her after that. There we go. They're done with the sex now. Well, that certainly wasn't an act in there, eh? Last night we stayed in an old castle that had been turned into a themed hotel. That was even a medieval banquet. Not much, at least, was an hour in Tenere, but once we returned to our room, we got talking and, uh, well, a few unscheduled events ended up being added. This happens quite often, and I've been with Shiori long enough now that it no longer surprises me. It's funny, back when I was single, it was not li nothing like this. To be honest, my willpower might be weakening a bit too much. <laughs><笑><笑> You've got some nerve. That's not it. Besides, that's a loaded question. <laughs> yes, I've pulled up the double kusu combo. Uh, I'm just a guy. You have such soft brains. Now look here! Uh, no, you wanted to become a hero. So wait. Would that keep me your, your kept man? Would that make me your kept man? Are you still bashful about such things even now? As usual, Shiori's stance on, th matters, on the matter changes with her mood, but that part of her is hard to dislike. If perchance that's the result of a little thing called love, nah, that'd be cheesy. But seriously, I'm over the mood just thinking about it. Well, I've got no problems with unbridled passion, and even if, results, if it results in us oversleeping, then I guess we'll just have to deal with it. That's because... But anyways, thanks to this, our schedule's been delayed even further. I'm treated like it's not a big thing. Hotels don't come cheap. But it'd be wasteful. Ugh. So your mind's made up, Shiori. Shiori, funding for our current European door came largely from Shiori's own pocket. I hadn't expected to benefit from Shiori's parents' estate, nor to be essentially living the life of a gigolo. But I'd been broached, but but when when I'd broached the topic with her, the money is coming from the preceding proceeds of my paintings, so there's nothing to worry about, Stotaro. That was her reply, so that's the situation. I fully intend to pay her back someday, but right now I'm being funded with what's essentially a cash advance on future earnings. I can't help but feel bad. I'm just holding you back. <laughs> Well, sorta. Of. 
人間界の実得ナイフ。Why did you just compare me to a knife? Could it be that you also have a thing for knives? 芸術家たるもの、尖っていたい。So that's what she means. And you know, I only have like six jobs at the moment. Is that really enough for a Swiss Army knife? 消防は今後の働き次第でアップデートされます。In that case, I'd like to be knighted, and France would be a chevalier.、Uh, chevalier. Or we could always become a patissier stet. So, Taro, te, tamani, o n a n o k o m i t a i n a k o t o i m a s o n e Ha ha! Don't say it with a straight, straight face, please. Well, Shogun, a motto, f t u n i Dana Sama, to Kadisio. Ato, Yoru, a tamani. ご主人様になることも可能です。Um, Shiori, it's still noon, you know. 大丈夫です。日本語なんて通じませんから。There's also that problem, isn't there? ところで、そうだろう。私たちのいるこの通りの名所、知っていますか ?I wonder why she's curious about that.Paris, Montmartre, Rue Norvin. In Japanese, I guess you'd call it Norman Street. よしゅ。バッチリですね。優秀な生徒を持って、先生も鼻が高いです。Well, I suppose. I intend to walk by Shiori's side from here on out, and I need to keep up with my lessons. 私もここへ来たのは初めてですが、ノルバン通りのことはよく知っています。Oh? What did you recently? I didn't know much more than Jean, Jean Pelizé. 思わず口ずさみたくなる Yeah, exactly. So, this is the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. She really squints, gazing at this distant basilica. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm 気になったものは研究せずにいられない。それが私の性分だから、ゆとりろのことも調べました。ゆとりろは才能ある画家でした。でもその人生は、決して順風満帆なものではなく、生まれ持った心の病と、家庭環境の複雑さ、それと、人間関係の難しさに翻弄される人生だったそうです。Mental illness. I see. Hi. Shoji, Scotch the Kay or Chicomi Masta. What does he know Yona Kumusme? Tani no Jinse in Tsuite, Konakoto Yuna Mosen Yet Des. Demo Kare no Jinse in Jibun no Korekara no Jinse or Kasane or Sete Mitishmate. Sorega. What does he know Moya Gaita Ita Kofk to a Oki Kuchigate Ita Kara? Watashi wa Gaka としての成功はともかくとしてずっと絵を描いていられたらそれで幸せになれるかもしれないとそう思っていた時期がありましただってどんなに願っても家族は帰ってこないからでも今は違いますもうそれだけじゃ私全然足りないんですだからあのそうたろう。あなた、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あ漫画を描いてみようかなって。漫画、ベリシオリ。はい。あの、ダメですか？マネージャーとしてどう思いますか？ That no, it's a fine idea, I think. Even if she's finally chosen the road she hopes to travel, by no means will it be easy. But she's Shiori, what of the road? She'll certainly give it her all. Besides, I'll stay close to her, closer to her than anyone. I'll always look out for her and her overly earnest ways. If there's something I can do to that end, then no matter what it takes, I'll make it happen. Assistant, no, Shogo, 
あげますから。It's fine with me. Later on, I'll also be your editor. <笑>それもいいですね。他の女性作家さんと仲良くしたらダメですよ。I won't. でも、実はまだ肝心なことを決めていなくて。どんなジャンルを書こうかなって。Well, the best approach would be to draw what you like. そうなんですけど、書きたいものが多すぎて、宗太郎はどう思いますか That's a good question. It could be romance, adolescence, there's plenty of genres. No matter what genre she, cho- she chooses, I'll continue walking by Shiori's side. The same road forever and ever. Hallelujah. Creepy r o a d What does that mean? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Somebody please tell me what 3P route means. I'm going to go fuck the bed, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>